This is. This is quite pleasant. Pleasant. Oh, this this is pretty nice. Like, <laughs> take a bite of it first and then put it in yes, the water. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Guys, I think you have to pee. Look, I don't want to food, so do you mind if I just pee in the water? Like, no, God, no. Do you pee in the water? Are you serious? I don't mind if you go pee. Over. Scoot over. Scoot over. Shark, do, 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 do. Sir, I haven't played that in a while. Had to play it. Had to play it. Well, welcome, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Howdy, chat. What's going on? Who's using Hi. the chat? There's weird people in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Gourd person. And a, a, a shield wall. Amanda. And... Man Mando it's sounds boosh. like she's coming from far away. And, and slightly squeaky. Now it's better. <laughs> okay. Briefly, it sounded like. Thanks for dropping yeah, by. I thought I thought I was having a stroke. I was like, "What's going on?" I'm hearing Amanda's voice in my head. Sorry, the the, the news uh, mic software that I have downloaded. Like, if I move away from the mic at all, it sounds weird. So, like, I have to train myself not to like wiggle around, go crazy. <laughs> Shieldwall, how are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me on. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched the X-Files, like literally the 90s. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, it's good to kind of revisit some of this stuff and uh, see how things have changed and how some things have stayed the same. Yep. X-Files! back on, <laughs> as always. <laughs> Mendo, Hello. Welcome. Is I, I am doing well. I am doing well. I did not get blown away, uh, which is good. Very, very good. So, uh, yeah, I I really liked these two episodes, so I'm excited. Great, great. And and welcoming the Gourd King back. Welcome, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah, I also have not yet been blown away. Uh so far, I've dodged the storms. Got an hour before another little stream will come in. We'll see if that affects me or not. If I if I cut out, it's because either the storm got me or, you know, I'm going to be I'm being taken away by the aliens. The raccoons. Or the raccoons. You the, know, raccoons like, the, the raccoons like pumpkin. So that's true. Got to watch out for them. It's very true, but yeah, I uh, I like these are a couple of pretty uh, pretty decent episodes. I I enjoy them, especially the second one. I like that one quite a bit. First one's good too. It's a little uh, some of the acting is a little funny, but uh, the second it, it's it's quite the contrast acting wise between the the episode seven and episode eight because eight has more legit actors that you've probably seen before. Uh, Including a guy who looks yeah. just like Steven Tyler. <laughs> I mean, come on. I can't be the only person to have thought that that dude looks dead up like Steven Tyler. I don't know. It's been so, so long since I've seen him before he was zombified and mummified and such. This guy so. looks this guy looks pretty, uh, pretty zombified, I got to say. <laughs> okay. but, and yeah, the are... beard of liberty. Howdy. Uh, I kind of have to agree with the sentiment so far. These were pretty fun to watch. I also agree that the second uh, the second episode that we watched for this week holds up a little bit better than the first. But it is kind of interesting to look at the main kind of topic of the first one being computers and automation and such like that from what is kind of almost like a recent historical perspective. And see what they thought yeah. we might have versus yeah. what we do have. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So what, what say y'all we just jump right into this first episode yeah. here? Let's look at the files of our exes. <laughs> no, thank <Episode>, you. <laughs> episode seven, Ghost in the Machine. The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> the Rise of Skynet. The, yeah, the computer awakens. <laughs> Dun, dun. It yep, it's all black, and that's that's the whole episode, everybody. Mm -hmm. it is. It's all black. <laughs> it's a very racist episode. 
<laughs> yeah, you only thought that Game of Thrones did it first when they had that episode that was completely shot in the dark. <laughs> X Files walked so they have could to run. Change mm -hmm. something. So, uh oh, give me a minute. Sorry, folks. The it's not Rex fighting back. It's my own fault. Unacceptable. <laughs> I say let's all take a break from the X-Files. We've been talking about it way too long. Let's all take a stroll through the feelings garden and talk about <laughs> all the ways <laughs> we'll talk about all the ways that Jacob has hurt us since we joined the stream tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't want it. <laughs> Hello, Sammy. How you doing? Samuel Something. L. Three Pete. <laughs> yes. Well, now I want to know what the L stands for. Stands uh, for Twitter felon. <laughs> that's what it stands for. It's amazing that he got that to start with an L, but hey. <laughs> yeah. It's a silent L. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's French. It's silent. <laughs> L. I don't know. Somehow he got banned off of Twitter for a while. Well done. Because Twitter's kind of hard to get banned off of now. A little harder than it used to be. I mean, I get things limited sometimes when I say the bundle of sticks word or something. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, even back when it was easier to get banned, I apparently was such a little fish in a giant pond. Nobody cared to get upset with anything <laughs> I said. <laughs> The, you can't you can't just say the word you got to call someone <laughs> <laughs> the thing with the, i don't know the the thing with uh <clears throat> with twitter is before elon bought it i didn't really use it that much um i wasn't even on it to be yeah honest. yeah but yeah i didn't i didn't get on it until like 2022 and only that was so i could rsvp to a fnt meetup <laughs> that was it. Um, but then, you know, then you you get on there and then people start inviting you on streams for some reason. Yeah. And yeah, here you like go. Like I had a Twitter that? account once before Elon bought it and I was on there for a little while. Uh, the only the only thing I can remember about having it before is I had a tweet about Pop Tarts that got like 10,000 likes once. And I don't even remember <laughs> what it was. And there was there used to be this account that you would send them something and you would say art or not art and they would judge it. And somebody sent that to them and it kind of blew up. They apparently liked it. And I was like, Oh, neat. And then I deleted the account. And I, would, I never remember what I even said. I mean, I know it was, I know it was a good one. So I, everyone liked it, but dang, yeah, I caught light. Find that. I, yeah. I caught lightning in a bottle and I didn't keep the bottle. The weirdest stuff will, will trend sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. This All right, guy. so we got these got these working. Look, he's got his '90s tie on. This yeah, this, this guy guy's is, boss is a he, terrible actor. <laughs> he's yeah. such a bad. He's like a. He's definitely like a uh, an Edgewood Pictures kind of actor. <laughs> <He's> yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. This guy right here. There was a couple years there in the '90s. He was in like everything remotely sci-fi, basically playing the same character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he he's kind of like was that uh, alien show he was in. Yeah, exactly. I was just gonna say that the alien show, that guy that's like aliens, they come from outer space. What <laughs> if? <laughs> yeah, the pyramids were built by him. Yeah, the guy with the crazy hair. But yeah, yeah this, yeah, this you gotta you gotta grow up. This ain't your company no more. Yeah, look at his laptop. Look at that laptop. I remember working off of a laptop yeah. like that back then and that was That's like brick, super man. cool yep <laughs> okay i'm not like, gonna lie yeah. i didn't spot the laptop for a second there i was just looking at the notepad and i was like i mean that's not technically a laptop yeah it took me a second yeah. too because it just kind of looks like a chair <laughs> in the background i was like that's, yeah, that's, a, that's maybe a, what roman yeah. called a laptop back in the day but <laughs> <laughs> no that's a that's a laptop um, no i actually came across one that i think was probably my dad's first laptop this looks about like that uh plugged it in it still works yeah they were they were pretty um yeah they were pretty uh hardy back then mm-hmm I mean, it had it, it. So this is like 93. So they had like, you know, Word document 
programs and stuff. But back then, most of them were like a you 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 just bought this thing and it was basically a word machine. Mm -hmm. It's that's all it did. It didn't do like other computing and stuff. Right. Um, but this was cutting edge stuff in '93. That mm -hmm. laptop, that kind of stuff, was yeah. So. And then obviously having a computer system integrated that can you know, you know do all this stuff was that was real science fiction. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It is it is interesting to consider, you know, and how long artificial intelligence, the idea of that has been around. It's been around a very long time. I mean, not long after the implementation of computers yeah. in general. It's been it's been a notion of machines having the capacity to learn at some point or other. It's always been an ingrained fear we've had with them it seems right exactly yep and it was it's always been corporations like this like a private corporation firm that really has the high-tech stuff because mm -hmm. the the government used to like in, invest in, in inventing all that and now it's all like silicon valley and whatever and it's been that way for decades and decades now um, i mean it makes total sense that the government yeah. would not be the ones to actually discover this kind of stuff because I mean, governments are incompetent and uh, you know, but a corporation that's money driven that has uh, that's the exactly, financial that's why drive, they're going driven. to figure right. this stuff. They're the ones who are going to figure this stuff mm -hmm. out because they're the initial people it's going to benefit. And then the government will come in like the vultures they are and they will, you know, they'll swallow it up and use it for their purposes. They'll regulate it to the point where it's uh, difficult no for anyone usable. else to have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the the really the only time you get invention and or technological advancement from government is during wartime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah, that's because they basically yeah. take over everything and then pour mm -hmm. the. No, there's no screwing around and pork projects and earmarks and stuff. It's all you got to get it done, so you just do it right. Yeah. Um, so what's happening here is so that the the conversation that they had in the office was is the guy with the glasses was like. He he started the company, but this guy took over the company, basically uh, got him off the board and now wants to take do like more um, commercialized things with the with it, um, with the uh, yeah. the computer that he built and the computer is seeing all this. Um, so now this guy's going into his private bathroom and he gets a phone call. And uh, well, the uh, the computer has control of the building right the much. entire building so it's right. turned mm -hmm. on the water and kind of flooded the bathroom a little bit oh yeah and so then, the floor's all wet because he comes in and he's like why is this this yeah. way he, then the door locks the phone rings he picks up the so he walks over to pick it up and he puts it back down because it's just like giving him the time the current mm -hmm. time is now you know 1945 or whatever he walks over he tries to get this electronic slide lock to work and it doesn't work. So he uses his, uh, his key and it electrocutes him. Knocks him back. Yo, as computers are want to do. You know, I wonder how many people don't know that you used to be able to do that is call in and get the exact time. I do because I've done yeah. it. Um, I, don't know if it's still I, I think you can still call like the there's like an observatory or something you can call to get the I exact still name. I still know the phone number. Really? At least at least the one the at least the one for my area, I still remember that phone number. The, it's like uh the main one for the US uh is in Annapolis, I mm -hmm. think, is where and it's got like an atomic clock there. But I figure um, there's there's gotta be ones for like different time zones. Well there is, but the world one is in Greenwich, mm -hmm. England. That's the because that's what the ones that actually came up with it in the first place. Yeah, that's where the yeah. So that's where you get started. Greenwich Mean Time or Zulu Time. They call it that because, yeah. So when you do like military operations, you just work all your timetables off of that one time. So there's no uh -huh. time zone difference. Yep. And here we get introduced to so this guy's uh, an ex, ex. Yeah, his former partner. Yeah. This is Mulder's partner. former partner. Uh, he got an upgrade yeah. with his new partner, that's for sure. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 And nothing good can come from an old partner that you 
seem to have had a falling out with just randomly showing up and being like, hey, let's go to lunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't exactly have a falling out. It was more just um, like he said, they had different career mm-hmm. goals and the guy had some he had some bad luck. Uh, well, see, him. I know that that's what he said, but he, I kind of got the feeling that they're c- kind of like later on when he's, you know, softens the, what actually was said when Scully asked, like, what do you say? Oh, he apologized. Well, no, but that's he, that's related so, to something he actually does in the episode. Well, yeah. That's, so, but I'm I'm thinking that's kind of yeah. what he still did here. So at least he that's did, what the he feeling did I got. Before, though, that got him reprimanded or something. Yeah, he yeah. lost he uh, yeah, lost he evidence basically. Good graces. He ended up he ended up sent he accidentally sent evidence and it got cleaned up and uh, it costs like co- it ended up getting like I think a, a judge got like maimed over it so. Uh, Mulder Cost eventually went on and did what he eye. did. Yeah, I, I, I more just get the sense that yeah. Mulder, when he first sees him, he's more just kind of like, uh, you know, this this guy got this guy had like some a, bad luck, like unfortunately. Well, it's more just he, it's it's that discomfort of knowing that this guy is in a place in his career that's not really good, and it's unfortunate. And you're like, it's almost like encountering someone you know that just lost a loved one. You don't know exactly how to how to be around them. Because, you know, yes. it's, it's a, that well, kind of awkwardness. The other thing is this guy is real ambitious, right? So he mm-hmm. wanted, and he said, well, why did you guys stop being partners? And he said, well, the guy, this guy wanted to go to the to the fifth floor, and I wanted to go to the basement <laughs> to take yeah. over the, uh, with no air conditioning or yeah. heating, <laughs> to take over the X-Files. Also, the entire time this dude is on screen, I'm like, dude, just get a haircut. <laughs> Trim up the back, get it, yes. get it lined up. You can leave the top the way it is, but the back needs a lineup, man. Come on. Jacob, this guy honestly terrible. could kind of be Napoleon Dynamite's dad. You look at him. I mean, <laughs> he, could be, yeah. he could be Napoleon's dad. Now, I don't know who this guy is, if, if he's been in other stuff later on. Um, uh, he just, he's actor. got a look about him. The open mouth. I mean, that's the about teeth. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. What kind of look? <laughs> no, just that. I mean, if you watch Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon doesn't shut his mouth oh, right, ever. Right, right. Yeah, this guy's his face actually looks like they could be related. I mean, you don't see Napoleon Dynamite's dad, so I'm just what, saying. What are you gonna he do when Senator you get to the fifth Bluff. floor? Whatever I want. Gosh. <laughs> he was uh, Senator Bluff Wade in Lincoln. He was Homer Stokes, and no brother, where art thou? Oh wow. He's been around. He was on the blacklist. <laughs> He's been around the show or the real no. <laughs> he was a, he was a communist. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I he was sitting with Clayton Door for two episodes. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> Wayne uh, Wayne Duvall is his name, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe McCarthy was on to something. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the sound of thunder. Jana. Jana. Hey, Jana. <laughs> What's going on? And also CLS. CLS. What's up? CLS, What's the up, system CLS? that they're fighting in this is almost your initials. It's COS in this, though. Right? <laughs> So you're like the upgrade of this evil machine. <laughs> uh, if we get a little bit of a elevator malfunction, she calls it in. Um, and then suddenly it starts working again. Just, you know, whatever. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> and then the computer like looks up her phone number. Guess it's got the hots for her. Yeah, love in an elevator, it's, it's, it's right? I was like... Why? Why her of all the people? Like, I mean, why not? I mean, look at her. My gosh. I mean, well, I mean, I guess she was the first one that actually identified herself on that phone call, and so it was able to gather some information to use for later, and it, keep in the back pocket, so to speak. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, She's like, Let's there's something the shorted out in there, like rerouted so that the electricity went through the, the keyhole. And they're trying to figure out how many people could do it. And basically nobody. It's, it's a, such a specialty system. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy's basically the build, like a, the fancy building manager that just keeps an eye on such stuff. So 
he makes sure that it yeah. works, but he just doesn't know how to make it work. Right. He's got people for that. Right. Sorry, Jana. Hope you get to feeling better. Feel better. Jana, yeah, feel better, we can, we'll, we're Soviet about it. Your grain is our grain. <laughs> <laughs> There's the camera watching everybody. I mean, it is, it, it is kind of dubious at this point because this looked so uh, cheesy with that yes. really basic talk thing. outline. <laughs> I was like, "Come was, on, man!" Yeah. Yeah. Tape out, tape outlines are just um, that's like I so like funny. yeah. I get it. the I get the point of it, but they're just funny looking. <laughs> they're always funny well, also, looking. I, I feel like they 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 have the potential of messing with the evidence. Well, it's not that. It's just they should have just used chalk, and it would have looked way more authentic. This looks bad. Like it looks like somebody murdered a Minecraft character. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if if we're, if we're honest, I'm going to nitpick. Or have this. them have I mean, the pictures. It, it, the floor was covered in water. I mean, you can neither have chalk nor of... tape would work. Well, I I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and also, well, yeah, but this is just to I mean, give him, you a visual look of at pictures. Of... Yeah. I mean, they could have they looked have... at photographs of where the body was, you know, had that. Well, this is yeah. from the yeah. computer's viewpoint. So it has to be from a camera, uh, is why. And yeah. so this is, they did this to let you know that they're in at the crime scene because otherwise, if you take away that chalk thing, you can see the sink, but some people might think, oh, there's in a hallway somewhere. Or whatever, so yeah. it, it's a visual way of making. I just thought that, you know, of course, this is uh, ten years before CSI comes out, the TV show, which is where everybody learned everything about forensics. Mm -hmm. it, or if you hadn't watched a show that came out uh, about fifteen years earlier, which was Quincy MD from the seventies, that one was also a really good, um, like CSI kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and then we find out CSI isn't exactly accurate. <laughs> well, be. that's the thing. They they legitimately can't be accurate because that would be giving away vital information to criminals. Yeah. Yeah. I still think there's some things that could get accurate, like the the commonplace stuff, but I mean, yeah. as far as you don't want to, I mean, it's kind of hard to get around uh, the stuff, whether you know it or not, but I mean, I, I'm okay with, you know, I, I, it doesn't have to be completely accurate, you know, but some of the things shows like that get wrong are kind of silly at times, but it's whatever. I don't watch, I'm not, I'm not invested enough in CSI to care. So <laughs> it's and right at the end of that, that bathroom scene. Uh, I, I, you know, you've got the ladder climber that wants to get to the fifth floor, and he's basically using Mulder because mm -hmm. he knows Mulder's smarter than him, but he can't admit it. Mm -hmm. So when Mulder's the only person in the room that recognizes the phone is off the hook, and asks yeah, about like the if, computer if monitoring the phones, and then like if, like, he, I his ex-partner just says, like, taught him everything he knows, but no, you would have caught that if you did. You're not as bright as him you're not as observant yeah well it's and if to me it's like if there was anything like that caused tension between them in their past my guess is that okay he probably you know has been an agent longer than Mulder. i mean he's a bit older than him and he probably did teach him a lot of this stuff but Mulder is so much better at it that he caught on and surpassed him very quickly and my guess is there probably is uh there probably jealousy but without it turning into animosity but right. then because he fell on hard times, he, you know, ends up here deciding to uh, kind of, you know, basically steal his work from him right here, which, you know, it's kind of a scummy thing to do. Yeah. But, you know, uh, Mulder looks stoned in this <laughs> image right here. I mean, he kind of does often. Like, <laughs> wow, man, this dude stole my my report. <laughs> I mean, e even Scully, because I, I guess she's familiar enough with his profiling language and such. She kind of picks up on it, leans over, says, is that your profile? And he just just like waves it away. Just like, don't worry about it. Just shh, it's don't bring it up. It's like, let's, let's, let's let it play out. I'll take care of it. 
But yeah, it's a pretty low thing to do. Uh, but it's interesting how they handle it here is because uh, they they have him do this thing and yet they manage to, I think, properly make you sympathetic towards him after the fact. It's like, okay, he's... It's it plays out in a way that I think is fairly you know kind of realistic. I you know you could see somebody doing this this way. It's not hammy or contrived. It's like no nah, people do tend to do this. They justify doing something like this in their own head. They're like oh no I didn't think you'd mind. Yeah, the, and then they they come to their senses and they're like look I I screwed up. I shouldn't him, have done that. The ends yeah. to him is getting to the fifth floor, and he mm -hmm. doesn't care how he does it. Well, I think here it's more that he's just trying to get off their crap list. I mean, he's um, he's not going to get a full blown promotion out of this. He's just trying to get off. You know, if there's such a thing as an FBI blacklist, he's probably on it for having <laughs> screwed up the way he did. So he's more just trying to get yeah. back in the running to where he might be able to one day be promoted. Because like he tells them, he's like, dude, I'm having to file like daily reports and stuff. Like I'm a like I'm a brand new agent or stuff. It's he he's just trying to get out of that. Yeah. It's like they managed to turn this guy into a, a fairly sympathetic character, which I thought I was like, that's that's that part of the episode I thought was really solid. I was like, that's good writing. I like that. So they get a name here. Uh, a lead or something. Oh yeah. The the, the building manager was gonna get them the short list of people who could have done that to that system and it turns out it's one it's just one guy it's one guy <laughs> it's the guy who created it <laughs> hey there's x it's x <laughs> hey sup how's it going zax hi zax what's up i want that car mm. Yeah, like that's a, that car. Yeah, this guy for starting this firm, and I think they say his severance is like so, like quite. Couple, yeah, it's like a hundred, couple hundred million. I think, yeah, I think they said. Don't they say something like four hundred million or yeah. something like that? Yeah, it was which, a hefty sum back then. Was quite a bit of money. Now it'd be in the billions. Yeah, it's. I yeah. mean, four hundred million is still a lot, but it's. Uh, it's he'd get a whole lot more these days. Yeah, I know four hundred million. Yeah. He, he could only make. Two Disney Plus shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my shares, you saying? mean episodes. Yeah. He could make 30 minutes uh, of later, bad Sammy. rings of power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like how he's, his, his response is, took you long enough. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's like, take your shoes off. Right. Well, he's got nice floors. I, I'd take my shoes off. I'd be like, yeah, I get it. This, these are nice floors. I'll take my shoes off. I'll mess that up. You did well for yourself. Good for you. But uh, he's, I, 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 I like take my wheels off. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at him and say, excuse me? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's he understands that, of course, he's going to be the prime suspect, but he's more or less nonplussed by it. He's because he's just like, well, you know, I didn't do anything. So I'm more just see this as an interesting puzzle to figure out. Uh, and so, it's so uh, crazy. I, I, I like the way all he's written. Stuff, all this stuff on his desk here, the computers and everything are probably like state of the art for oh they are look at that monitor his main monitor it's got a curved screen yeah but it's the crt still mm -hmm. on the back of it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so it's like a proto flat screen not flat screen yeah does anybody here have one of those curved like a curved monitor is anybody using one i no. saw one like when i was younger but no no i'm talking about right now like have a curved monitor yeah, okay just wondering I don't I don't really like them, but I think for most people it's yeah. not needed. Yeah. I I've I've seen like the larger curved models I like. Uh, I mean at least they're good to game on. Oh, um, like the like the really like the the ridiculously long yeah. ones. 
Yeah, like those yeah. are cool. Like, I don't like to cool. game on anything where I have to turn my head to see the whole screen. I don't even <laughs> consider like these curve monitors. I call them warped monitors. That's how I would refer to them because um, I was okay. like, I could. I think these are warped more than anything. But yeah, I, 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 I've had I've had computers like that before, but you know, nothing nothing like that now. Roman, Roman, we're talking about this newfangled oh, technology Roman. called computers. <laughs> yeah, I like how you explaining the smart house, like it's this yeah. revolu revolutionary thing, and it's like nowadays you can just buy a thermostat and connect yeah. it to your router. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. But see, all of that stuff is yeah, just a I nice like to have. I mean, how hard is it to just walk over to your unless unless you have a reason why you couldn't? But for most yeah. people, how hard is it to just walk over to your thermostat and push a button or? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I want to have a virtual I, I don't, keyboard. I don't want my uh I don't want AI to hack my toaster and electrocute me when I'm making toast. <laughs> yeah, like all that stuff is just added cool stuff, but it's not really necessary. We we make I don't, jokes, I don't but want the most common yeah. like entry point to for people to actually get into networks is the the internet of things. It's like when the internet connected refrigerator came out. They didn't think about putting security on it, so people were able to hack into networks using their refrigerator. So I don't like the, the the Internet of Things. I don't want my toaster to electrocute me, but if it did, that's that's a cool story. Still, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. yeah, there's so many things that that yeah, they come so... up with technology wise that if you they looks cool, but then you think about it like practically, and it's just you don't need it, mm -hmm. you know. So we have a guy that needs the back of his hair shaped up, and this guy that needs to. Yeah, yeah. Shape. Wait till wait till you see that guy, Roman. Wait till you see his haircut. He'll drive you nuts. You're like, dude, just get a lineup. Okay. I mean, this guy could use a haircut, but he's he's not an FBI agent, so no, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's rich. He's rich. He isn't married. It seems. Uh, yeah, I mean. Eh, another a the aliens haven't invaded yet <laughs> yeah yet. he hasn't started his own uh show about the pyramids you know what show i'm talking about don't you i, I don't remember the name yeah, of it. ancient was... aliens yeah. no no you're thinking no, uh, uh, no. what was it second wave third wave it was yeah, almost like, like a sci-fi tv show oh i thought you were talking about um yeah. The History Channel, alien. Yeah, the History aliens. Channel, Ancient Aliens. No, with uh, Giorgio A. Oh, first way. Coglas or whatever his name is. He's got like super crazy hair. That guy's only forty six. Okay, or he is forty six. So I was a little different than that. Yes, yeah, like it was like a uh, aliens secretly taking over earth yeah it was it was called first wave because they were trying to like <laughs> the first wave was already there and they were trying to start stop the second or something along those lines roman's yeah. having flashbacks to when he first saw a woman playing with an abacus <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, one thing is, is keyboards really haven't changed that much. No, That's they true. really haven't. We we haven't we haven't really adapted those much. Which I mean, I mean, shoot, we haven't even really adapted them far past a typical typewriter. Just because I mean, we've got the same key layout, which you know we should keep. I mean, people have memorized it at this point. But uh, aside from keyboards being wireless and lit they up, they have those uh, those weird ones that are like split in half to prevent carpal tunnel. And, yeah, uh, they're like little half ones and stuff, and yeah, and then the virtual keyboard, the one where they're like always like in uh in the Matrix, like the second one where the people are like guiding the ships in and they're just touching the air. Mm -hmm. That's way too much moving your hands around. Yeah, you know yeah. that you just just have yeah. a regular keyboard, you'll be fine. Yes, keyboard and mouse. It worked in Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so he's writing system like a system is here. hacking into your computer. Yep. And you know how it's hacking in? It's going. <laughs> and it's like, ah, I had no idea somebody was hacking my computer. You can literally hear it. <laughs> right. Maybe we should go back to that. We we could find out when our computer's getting hacked. Oops. Where did I that go? Also, ninety. See you later, CLS. Don't be hacking nobody. Yeah, see you, man. I was about a year old when this uh, this episode came out, <laughs> or uh, when this. What? I'm trying to think about how many, how much, like how much RAM and how much storage space was on a hard drive back then. Uh, it'd be in, it'd probably be in megabytes back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, I think my family's first first computer Mender, what, had a year was like born? 100 megabyte. I was born in 1992. This said it like October 1993 90. or something. Yeah. Yep. I was born in 92. Yeah. <laughs> 90s kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even. It's not even like Windows. Like they're. It's like MS DOS or something. I know. That my first computer that I bought in '97 <laughs> had a four gig hard drive. Jeez. Yeah. And I had a guy at work that told me it would never fill up. Oh I filled that thing up with games <laughs> in like a year. <laughs> It'll never fill up. It's like, dude. Or hey, it's or, salty. Or salty. Oh, I remember. Okay. I remember Chi Chi's. Okay, Roman. Salty. Here's. Here. Roman, Jesus, here's yeah. the dude that needs a hair trimmer. This isn't it, this isn't showing it as bad. It looks like he might have combed it, but in the other scenes, oh my god, the back of his hair was like sticking up. It was it was terrible. Yeah, this yeah, he looks like he combed his hair. <laughs> I'm time. sure you do, Salty. I'm sure you have some cassette tapes older than me. I probably have cassette tapes older than me somewhere. <laughs> oh, Salty probably has eight tracks somewhere. Right. <laughs> I have, I have an action figure older than Mendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's the uh, mm -hmm. just wait. He'll come. He'll come showing up, and his hair will need a his hair will need more more work, and it'll just yes. be like I don't know. But here he's confronting him, or they're or they're talking about he's apologizing for having taken his work, and uh, you know, is admitting he screwed up. He's I like, need you more. Know, you're a good agent. I, I, you, yeah. I would have helped you. But uh, she, of course, the being the more practical agent, she's more or less sure that. Uh, well, I think his name's Wilczek. He's the that he's the killer. Yeah, because they have the audio from the phone call, and she matched it up with his voice. Yeah. That she spliced from all those tapes she was listening to. How how yeah. much do you think it irks yeah. like like the the more feminist crowd today to go back and watch the show and have to watch her be wrong like every episode? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, well, yeah. now now just the roles would be reversed. She'd be the one that knew everything, and he'd be like walking around. But she's not always wrong. No, she's she's not always, like... but she's because she's the practical one working mm -hmm. in a job filled with the the odd. You know, she's wrong more often than not. I mean, mm -hmm. she's 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 usually wrong about at least two thirds of the time. It seems, uh, but, at least in the first does, season. Well, but yeah, she's, she's, she's supposed to represent the audience, though. Mm -hmm. I think right. She's supposed to be the one that's like, uh, there's a logical explanation, and, and so you can't I get her purpose. You can't have any character growth either if she already knows everything. Yeah, right. yeah. like you know, but, we learned that from. From Ray in Star Star Trek or Star Wars, most of the time uh, they don't. She's not portrayed as, stu oh, as man, stupid. He, his barber she's, she's messed up on one side. It's, yeah, it's not as bad as the first time you see him, though. It was just terrible. Yeah, look at that. I mean, look at that. I think I think his barber is. Uh, no, I know. What, I know what he's doing. He's a, he's a brand new Jedi Padawan. He's starting his braid. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh that's what it is. Barbara doesn't have haircutting skills. I'm That's telling you, he, he looks like he could be Napoleon's like dad. He's got a bad haircut. 
Yeah, he looks like he could be Napoleon's dad. He's got the open mouth thing going, except for right here, of course. Of course, you had to put it on there. But, uh, and then she's going to write on the screen with a marker. Who does that? Well, you could do it back then because the screen is actually it off, glass. But, yeah. Now you wouldn't want to do it because the you know the screen's not glass and yeah. <laughs> it's not quite the same. Dang, Jay. Right. <laughs> like those those screens used to be able to take a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yep. Yeah, I remember uh, our home home PC that we had. Like uh, I think it was like ninety nine or or something. My sister took magic marker and just colored all over our screen. Uh, of course, I had to clean it up, but uh, it was not as difficult to just clean use some it alcohol. Up. Yeah, that's that's what I ended up using, but it was it I it still took a lot of elbow grease because I was yeah. the older sibling and I should have been looking out for my sister. And so I was playing uh, outside. <laughs> <laughs> and Mulder goes to confront this guy and uh Jerry basically like, Come on, man, I need this. Let me have it. And so he's like, All right, whatever. Go for it. You can have it. And uh he's trying to get back into the system and that's that's kind of maybe our first clue that it really isn't him because even when they were talking to him oh, earlier come on. he could just be You're this gonna... overconfident kind of guy you 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 find out you can't get access to your ai and you're going to go run over there in your corvette come on take the Mercedes. I mean, I mean... <laughs> Does he own another car? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he necessarily suspects. Earlier. I mean, that's, I mean, if you're going to, I appreciate the fact that he bought that car to drive it instead of just have it on display. He doesn't mm -hmm. strike me as the sentimental yeah, type. He's true. like, he wants, he looks like a guy who's going to play with his toys, which I'm like, yeah, that's cool. That's what I would do. I would never want to buy sassy. a cool car like that and not drive it. Like, nah, I'm driving this. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. daily driver yeah i mean this is bold taking the elevator but i'm, I'm kind of banking on him to, like as a, as a character thinking that i don't yeah i don't like, think I'm, he, I'm he doesn't creator, realize what he's... so he doesn't think he would be threatened because he's just not trying to shut the system down like the other guy was well he doesn't he doesn't, he doesn't know how happening right he doesn't know how crazy it's gone yet and then yeah. of course the fbi dude has no clue like he knows um, something's wrong. He's but yeah. like here he learns he's like this thing's all of a sudden he's like you he goes, Whoa, you don't have a voice modulator. Why are you like he real he's this is where he's coming to realize, oh my gosh, this thing's thinking now. Mm -hmm. So this ain't good. Um uh, what's that one show that had uh it had an AI in it that was like solving crimes and stuff and God, what was it called? Um it had uh it had a like an ex CIA guy. He would, oh, he would get the phone um, call, and it would tell him like in different words. It would be like seven, nine, two. It was three. It starred Jim Caviezel. Yeah, Jim Caviezel. Oh, person yep. of interest. Person, person of, of interest, interest. Right. Yes. So what that AI? There was a competing AI, and it was going to try to kill the main AI. And how the main AI escaped was that by itself, it just you uh, accessed money from bank accounts and then scheduled. It bought its own like computer parts and had them installed on poles all around the world so that it would be like decentralized. So with the way that it, back then it wouldn't work like that, but nowadays with Amazon and everything, an AI could literally access a bank account, order stuff, have people install it without ever seeing a person, have them complete the work orders. And so it could have all kinds of stuff happen, like get a voice modulator installed on itself, um, those kinds of things. But, yeah. Okay. Look at his hair here. It looks yeah, like that's what I'm saying. A buzzer. Yeah, the yeah. Middle, like what? <laughs> this guy is <laughs> This guy is terrible. 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 No, well, don't worry. He's about to Yeet. <laughs> leave the show. This is what happened to Napoleon Dynamite's father. Aww. So. They take him all the way to the 30th floor and it's going, and it has like a, a, a thing that tells you what floor you're on in case you blind or something. And uh, it, it says, uh, it goes 29, 30, 29, 30, it starts wigging out and then it drops. Now, if this was a regular, um, 
elevator that wasn't like controlled by the computer, I would call BS on it um, because elevators have this inertial braking yeah. system that if, if they travel yeah. too fast down, right. it automatically engages and it's not something that you can override yeah. um, because it's a safety feature. But if somehow they gave the, 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 the AI control of that braking system and it could disengage it, then maybe this would work. But what people fail to realize is that all these like falling elevator memes and things in movies and stuff, nah, most of that yeah. never happens because of the braking system. And the braking system is old. It's like and, the 1870s or something when, when they invented it. Unless there's a crazy guy that blows right. the brakes out. Like, like on speed. Yep. <laughs> oh. Right. I yeah, that's what I mean. It, but on, under normal. Um, oh, yeah. No. It, yeah, yeah it, it's stopping. It. Yeah, she's still convinced. She's like, it's him. Like, he's there. He, he did, did it. it. And, and Mulder asked the question why would you put yourself on camera? Right? Like, he is clearly. Yeah, this is one of the parts that actually I don't think is well written because it's like if if you're not factoring in the behavior of the suspect, that's that's not very good work there because behavior mm -hmm. actually is pretty important yeah. to uh, consider in things such as this. I was like, I mean, granted, I, I think that's relying more on the on the audience being stupid. And I'm like, mm -hmm. eh, I, I mean, it's like if you're willing to shut your brain off, it's probably not that big a deal. But it's like, sorry, I'm not stupid. I, I, I think he's got a pretty solid point here, guys. So, you know, and plus, you know, it's like you you can't expect your audience to stay stupid when you kind of know Mulder's going to be right. And so you yeah. understand it's like, well, he must be making a good point then. So, yeah, Scully, what the heck? <laughs> can't be that simple. I mean, it is oh. especially difficult to convince us of that when we just watch the scene as it happened instead of seeing it from their point of view. Mm -hmm. So we've been given already been given all the information. So it does make it much more uh, difficult to kind of side with Scully's rationalization of things. Right. It probably would have been a more interesting episode it's if you didn't realize exactly if you kind of were discovering this with them, what was mm -hmm. going on rather than knowing kind of the whole time that, oh, we're dealing with a rogue AI. Uh, might have uh the, these are what you call spooks yeah like he comes in he's word. like <laughs> sorry <Gordon. laughs> i didn't say it I, I think you should say it but um yeah like he comes in he's like oh you have to have a subpoena he's like well yeah i i, I wrote that and he's like well no, no no you have to have this level of clearance or whatever and he's like yeah. wait a minute why are these people looking into this well, the other thing right. is they didn't identify what agency they were from or anything. They're just mm -hmm. like, you know, level five clearance. He's like, okay, later. Um, I'd have been like, well, who are you? Where are you from? I need your supervisor's like, contact info. Who, who has the subpoena, like who, who uh, uh, asked for the subpoena in the first place? Like, look, this is my case. Move your, move, move off of it. Take your subpoenas out of here. Now this guy is is his like NSA contact or something, right? Like a CIA yeah. dude or something. Yes. Uh, officially yeah, I think known this guy's in, another in episode show as yeah. Deep Throat. Yeah. Yes. Also, I I looked it up. The sure. elevator free for all braking system was invented in 1853. Nice. <laughs> so it's been around that long. So all this like elevators falling down shaft stuff is is nonsense. Well, were they controlled by rogue AIs? Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> the, the rogue AI might have some kind of release control, but the way it actually works is you have to lift the elevator back up. Yeah. To get it off of the brakes, otherwise it will just stay engaged. Yeah. Or you have to like cut it with like a torch or something. And he's like, the government wants the AI system. <laughs> well, think about it. Well, they want it for a number of reasons. 
One is to make sure that it doesn't fall into nefarious hands that they can't control. And two is they want to control it. But think about it logically as is as a government, would you want that running around without your control of it? Like an actual no. AI that could do crazy stuff? No. Well, you, I mean, you definitely wouldn't want it in the control of another country, but, you know, every government is the wrong hands pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if it's much better to be in a corporate hands either. Cause oh no, it probably isn't. Control. I mean, there's, there's, yeah. uh, it's kind of that, it's kind of that Jeff Goldblum line is we, it's like we're so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we never stop to think if we should. We should, right. Yeah. There's just, there are some forces that we're better off not messing with at all. And uh, AI that, that's could very much be than argued as one of those. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Yeah, right. Or like a cyberpunk uh, edge runners or whatever. Or the sequel well, trilogy. Also, like, <laughs> one of the major downfalls of, of the human race is we think that we like basically can become god if we do like if we try hard enough if we do enough or all of these things and like that inflated like like ego is what really kind of well yeah 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 our curiosity we underestimate mm -hmm. Yeah, our, our that level of curiosity we have about ascending to the heavens goes. I mean, it goes all the way back to Tower of Babel. I mean, it's uh, it's part of what we are. Is we, you know, it goes. It's it, heck. Even before that, it's kind of the oldest sin. Man wants to be God, and uh, you know, yeah. when we have these kinds of technologies, we we don't really consider the consequences of dabbling in it. We think, how can we ascend further through using it? You know, never. Yeah, sure. Probably some people are gonna die, get hurt, get harmed if we do it, but we'll we'll master it at some point, and uh, we'll be better off for it. That's our that's how we reason it out. Which generally we just we figure out yeah. new and improved ways to abuse people with it. But yeah, that's our that's human arrogance so, at play. Yeah. So he's uh, he's signed a. What and a, a confession? Yeah, but it was Signs the a written confession because he realizes, it, right? yeah, he realizes what he's oh he created that. what he's made and he's like uh oh created so he's like either either this thing is going to get into some this it's like okay some people are gonna die or a lot of people are gonna die that's his rationale is you know there's it's kind of one of two options so he's like uh, let's choose the lesser of two evils that's the way he thinks of it. Yeah, and Mulder can't understand why he would just protect this thing that's killing people. But the way he describes it, he's like he serves two masters. Like he, he would, it's like his baby. It's his creation. It's it's something that has never existed before, and he can't bring himself to end it. Yeah, Until but he also Mulder wants to keep it out of the hands of like the government and such, because you know, similar to the atomic bomb once the government got their hands on that. <laughs> but like, like you were saying with the, a lot of people or few, fewer people, some people it's, it's lose, lose situation. So better to do something. She's still like an AI is, is years away from being able to do that. <laughs> uh, no. And he's like, Jane, you ignorant slut. <laughs> yeah, how did Mulder sneak that big thing in? Probably they just they probably just trusted him because of his credentials more than anything, and he was just like well, also, did they really do uh, metal detecting back then? I, I mean, I'm sure there was some, but I, I would more think that he just gets away with it because of his status. He's like, he's FBI, so it's like, you know, they're probably not, they're not too, they're not worried about him breaking this guy out or anything. And, uh, you know, it's like he sneaks in a laptop and it's like, okay, write a virus. <laughs> Well, so the, um, the uh, AI hacks your computer again. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Shilpal. Oh, I was going to say, uh, he could have just told him that he needed to 
have him look at something for a case and they would have let him take the computer in there. You know what I mean? As yeah, long as they weren't some kind of like, hey, don't let him have a computer. So he's FBI. He can just come in there and be like, oh, look, I got evidence on this or I show him something or whatever. <laughs> one, Heavy metal detection. Yeah, Jay's got a good point too, Jake Goodwin. Yeah. Um, like, how many times do you have to see some weird stuff going on before you're like, huh? Maybe, maybe there is something going on here. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fi finally, she's like, "All right, some weird stuff's happened. People are hacking my computer, and it's coming from here." Her tagline is, I really don't want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> so he puts the uh, guy's plates on his car. I really think that company name sucks. Eurisco. That's a stupid. I was like, come on, guys, do better. Yes, that is stupid. That's not Sounds a good like company. A, name. a uh, ph pharmaceutical name. U European <laughs> risk assessment <laughs> or something. <laughs> Eurisco. Or like European Nabisco. It's either food or risk assessment. You know, I appreciate that this plan didn't work 100% because the AI would have known that that, that license plate belongs to a different car, <laughs> to a guy who's dead yeah. or in jail or something. That's not a Corvette. <laughs> also, it's a tiny little thing, but the horn's going off. He opens the hood, pulls the battery connection. The light on the inside of the hood is still on, and the headlights are still on. <laughs> is it the battery connection he... he pulls, or does he literally pull the wire for the horn? I, I don't know. Maybe. I assumed it was battery, because I, I assumed that would be something that would be easier to get to. Mm. I, I didn't think it was battery, because your battery <laughs> is like closer to the surface but and it looked like he reached on the other side but i don't know what mm. i i'm no automobile expert uh so i only know what it's like in my car so, <laughs> scully pulls a uh, john mcclain yeah it's crawling through the vents every time although funny i don't think john mcclain when i see people crawling through vents i think either lance hendrickson and aliens or i think the game golden eye at the very beginning, and I just I hear that in '64 music. Din, 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 din. It's, all, it's always what I hear, and it's great. Yeah, this makes me wonder what kind of motor did they put on these air conditioning <laughs> fans to. <laughs> uh okay well okay coming from somebody who built who has uh who spent 13 years building air conditioning units for uh commercial buildings they can be quite powerful they they can get some serious rpms going on some of those things i mean granted a lot of it's going to depend on the size um if i had to guess they're using it looks with those vents they're probably using lots of of fairly decent size because those are pretty those are pretty wide vents. Uh, yeah, she didn't look like she's all that crammed yeah. in there. But uh, I know this that whenever we would test uh, air conditioning units of that size, I mean, really, really, when we tested any any air conditioning units, we're not allowed in the cage with it. But uh, yeah, those things can get some serious serious power going. I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna like blow you away or anything. But I mean, you stand near one. I mean, it's it's pretty intense. Yeah, but is it going to generate enough force to suck you down an entire volume that big? Um, like From around a great corners distance, and no, stuff. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. No, nothing yeah. like that. It, I mean, it would it would have to be built. Uh, well, no, I mean, honest, honestly, anything with that level of RPM would be considered malfunctional and probably wouldn't even make it past testing to begin with. Uh, I I've seen the <laughs> results of a of an air conditioning unit where something was done wrong that increased the RPM and literally like the blades were flying off. It was pretty wild actually. <laughs> Whoa. 
basic yeah basically the wrong like the larger wheel is supposed to be on the fan the smaller wheel is supposed to be on the motor that keeps the rpms manageable if you reverse those wheels the rpms mm. skyrocket and somebody did that and the blades like literally were like flying out of the roof of the fan it was pretty crazy <laughs> <laughs> something that intense as this show is describing it's like no that's you're not gonna see anything like that <laughs> it's a bit much Bet y'all didn't expect that on stream. Air conditioning knowledge. <laughs> and then, yeah. of course, we find that's, out. That's what That's what we bring you on the yeah. Ironside show. Y'all were just hoping one day we're going to roll facts. these dice. And this guy who worked with air conditioning, he's going to bring that on here. It's going to be totally worth it. <laughs> but until right. then, we'll put up with the puns. <laughs> <laughs> we welcome them here. Yes. Yeah. Guys then in the chat, the this is the this is end. probably the last time you'll see me. They got what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy at the who's like, I'm a nobody. Turns out he's actually a government agent sent there to gain access to the AI yes. system. Yeah. Who saw that coming? <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> I have a Glock. I did because when and the guy showed up on screen, he had a little too much character presence for me to think he was a one-off. Right. Yeah. That's I was like, yeah. mm, this guy's coming back. Mm -hmm. He's like, my gun's cooler than your gun. <laughs> they, they always, in both this episode and the next one that we're going to talk about, that you see them eject the magazine and acts like the gun is clear no fbi agent would be walking around with a gun that doesn't have one in the chamber ready to go and he calls it a clip he yeah, freaking yeah, yeah. calls the thing a clip and i was like nobody calls Remember the clips uh, except on tv they're not video clips. of the remember the video of the fbi agent breakdancing and his oh yeah falls out <laughs> Correction, Jay. I'm not. I'm not a plant and sent by cancer man. I'm. I'm from a less known character called Herpes Man. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Roman right. Davies Mulder's tie can kill him. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That is. That is the most '90s tie. <laughs> <laughs> the only other decade that had worse ties than that was maybe the '70s. She. She looks pretty comical. <laughs> Here. Yeah. What is she? What is she wearing? Yeah. Why she, she got a flannel like, shirt on? Where'd she get that from? She was just like she's got like, like the cartoonish yeah. ash blowback thing going, yeah. like, a, like an itchy, scratchy skin or something like that. Oh, that old <laughs> floppy disk. Uh, hey, at least those were the in '93. Those were the new modern ones that everybody was like, "Ooh, they hold so much yeah. and they're smaller." Then before that, you had those big. Uh, that were actually floppy. Those yeah. that's why they called them floppy disks. Send disk pics. <laughs> <laughs> Make them floppy. No, that's horrible. <laughs> I also love the way TV shows depict and... like viruses and Oh, the it's it's always like programs that you know are television produced that you'll never see in real life. They they always look yeah. funny to me because they're they're so foreign to what we really see. Yeah, today you just get a your everything locks up and you get a screen trying to get you to send Bitcoin. Look at the way this guy sits all cross leg and stuff. It's like, dude, come on, it's not June yet. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> but yeah he's basically uh, brings up the more the moral aspect of it he's like you know you kind of uh you, you know kind of showing you the spot molder was in which like this almost like this scene i liked it but at the same time it frustrated me because he brings up the interesting point that by destroying the AI, he also destroyed the evidence of that guy's innocence. And I'm like, you kind of explored that. That would have been interesting. That actually would have yeah. been an interesting thing to explore in this episode then, is the moral question. The, the government comes in and disappears him. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I'm sure they're going to put up this place nice and totally not force them to make the machine again. Yeah. yeah. It'll be all right. No, no. You can, yeah, they'll give him the option. You can either live in this nice house and help us or sit in this cell for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you still have it, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> The one, though, I I do think this. I I think the way this episode ends is really hokey. I like the way it it. it I guess it's because it I don't mind the idea of it coming back on, but it boots up so overtly that it's like, well, no one's gonna miss this. It's like if you're trying to hide the fact that this thing's still alive, you didn't do a good job because like several lights and the camera come on. It's like okay, well, it's very clearly like do one light, just one little yeah. light. Right, that's all you need. Or you don't even have to do that. You can just rely on sound design and just have the have the hard drive start yeah, spinning up. Exactly. And of course, he has yeah. that. I'm gonna figure this out, even if it kills me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we know who's the next victim. <laughs> but yeah. All righty. That's, that's episode that's seven. Episode. Ghost in the machine. Four lights indeed. Not to be it. confused with rage against the machine. Or ghost in the shell. <laughs> it's right there. Thank you. Or Can ghost you in the darkness. <laughs> that's, that's for you, Roman. That's for you. Ghost in the darkness. Uh, why didn't I think? Oh, I'm so out of it today. That would have been the first thing we said was that you watched uh, Ghost in the Machine, right, man? Dude, not Ghost in the Darkness. This doesn't have any lions in it. Hey, hey, um, I, I like Ghost in the Darkness. That's a good movie. That's a good movie. Right? <laughs> It's a good movie. I, I've I have seen I have seen the Ghost in the Darkness, the actual Ghost in the Darkness at the Field Museum twice. But, but yeah. is it a horror movie? No, it's not a horror movie. It's a <laughs> it's a it's an adventure film. <laughs> it's a it's an adventure film that has some scary stuff about it. It's it sucks though. They kill Theoden in it. That's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, Theoden's in that movie. Oh yeah. As a horror movie to me. Oh, I mean, no, it, it'd be scary if you were a kid, definitely. If you were a kid when you yes. watched it, it'd be scary. But I was, uh, I think I was a teenager when that came out, so yeah. I was 12. <laughs> you shouldn't have been scared by 12. <laughs> Every time Mando thinks she's got a little win in this argument. Gordon no, no. What's what, 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 what is important? Jab. What's important is that we both like the movie. I think it's a really good movie. I I am a big fan of Ghost in the Darkness. Yeah, Thank I you. I am a defender of that film. It's a dang good movie. But that that's not the only thing. Is that's not how Remington died. So, no, it's not. And that's not even the first version of that story. There was a film that I believe Ronald Reagan was in yeah. called Buona Devil. Which, uh, I've never seen that, but yeah. <laughs> Me neither. I'll, I'll have to check that out. Roman is asking a question in the chat. He's asking if you've got room, Jacob. Room? Of course I've got room. You want to jump in here? Yeah, jump on in. Yeah. We're, gonna, link, we're about to sir. talk the thing. I mean X-Files. <laughs> <laughs> see if i got the right thing here i'll send it to him the thing I, I got it okay you know the thing all right it's on your uh twitter dm roman you know the thing the thing the, the thing you know roman never wants to join when it's us regulars but you bring royalty in and suddenly he's like i've got to, i've got to be there for this hey i mean empires yes. uh kingdoms i mean we have a we have an understanding. I know what it's like. Yes. That's why I, that's why I don't. I, that's why I I I I, con I don't conquer too fast. <laughs> we don't want to become an empire and then have the whole falling empire thing. And yeah. 
Jay. <laughs> I told you not to tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, this one's actually this one's yeah. pretty cool and has has probably one of my all time favorite well, uh, character actors. Uh, what's his face? Yeah, keep an um, eye out for Roman uh, beard. Uh, right. Xander Berkeley. He's a uh, dude's in a ton of stuff and is really always good. This guy's always good. Who? Yeah, he had a face that I recognized, but I couldn't place where from. So he's he's in uh, he's in Terminator Two. He plays uh, the foster father to John Connor. Uh, he plays Agent Gibbs in Air Force One. He plays a public uh, kind of a PR person in Apollo Thirteen between the networks and NASA. Uh, okay. He's in like, gosh, Shanghai Noon. He's in. Uh, he's in Shanghai Noon. Yeah, he's uh he plays Van Cleef in Shanghai. <laughs> mm. Uh he had he was in episodes of the he was in quite a few episodes of The Walking Dead. Uh 12 Monkeys, um uh, Candyman. Uh oh. dude's been in a freaking lot of stuff, yeah, but he, he's he's in Justif he was the, in a uh, couple episodes of Justified. Yeah, I've always the liked pilot, him as an too actor. in this mm -hmm. episode. He's been in a lot. Well, no, yeah, he's the, he's the lead a, singer for Aerosmith. Bad guy. He's the lead singer for Aerosmith. <laughs> of course. What? We all know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Xander Berkeley's a really good character actor. That's, I mean, he's in everything. I mean, he was, oh yeah, he was in, he was on 24 for like about 20 some odd episodes. Yeah. I like, get I like the guy's like, we're not, we're not who we are. Mm -hmm. I thought that, that's if there was one thing I would have scratched from the episode, it's that because it's Roman. aside from sounding cheesy, hey there's guys. really no there's really no payoff to hey them guys. saying that. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Hey, How no, doing, I, I, I I actually I hated that last episode so much, but I loved this episode so much. <laughs> it's got to be it's a real yeah, juxtaposition of good. of good and bad writing. The last one, stop it, Mando, stop it, stop it. Stop it! Um, <laughs> the, do not sully Jacob's show with with that level of depravity. It's not it's not allowed here. <laughs> um, but as soon as this one started and and kicked in in full gear, you you really knew you were you were in for something special, and I think you got that out of out of this one. Just such a fun ride from beginning to end, and a lot of stuff that reference that you get that thing vibe from. Which even if I'm just hanging yeah. out with Beard of Liberty, I get the thing vibe and I like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> there are jokes there, but this is a family channel. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear about y'all. I don't want to hear about the vibes in your thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this this whoa. just setup is perfect for just grabbing your attention and making you yep. want to stick around and watch more. Yeah. Specifically how this fight resolves between the two. Whoa. Yeah, actually, yeah. when I, I did, I did not see that coming. As, I didn't either. I thought we were going to go with like one of the tropes where, like, you'd hear a gunshot, but you wouldn't see who got hit, and then there'd be mystery if that guy was still around later on because they yeah, be exactly. The You're going to discover like. the guy, and it's like it had been so long since I'd seen the episode that I'd, I'd forgotten completely about what had happened. Uh, you know, we're watching them after for the first time in almost thirty years. It's, it feels like you're watching them again for the first time. Also, that yeah. guy's hair. Is yeah, fabulous. but the, I do remember the first time I saw this episode, <laughs> which I saw this uh, like apart from the rest of the series. This was one of the first episodes I ever saw, and mm. my brother's best friend was watching it with us, and he kind of chuckled, and I was like, "What?" And he said, "This is like how emo fights end, like all of them." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and, and then you see the two guys shoot each other, shoot themselves, and I was like, "Oh, I get it." <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> uh, this guy, this guy's like. No, it's not like he's trying to communicate. We're not what we are. He's, it's like he's trying to, his logical brain is trying to tell, warn people that there's something wrong here. Yeah. And even this scene where they shoot each other, shoot themselves, Gooch. is like. 
It's them the gooch in the shell. It. Yeah. <laughs> we just watched the gooch yeah, in the I, machine. I'm still, I, I, I'm, I'm amazed that they do what they do here, though. Um, I'm, I'm, what I'm surprised at, given, well, I, with spoilers, without spoilers, what we find out later how, that they are able to do this to themselves. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? As far as the control aspect goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that yeah, I guess I hadn't really thought about that. But yeah. for, for, for a scientist, I, I got to give him credit. Mm -hmm. He clearly <laughs> uses the treadmill. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the treadmill is not just for hanging laundry. <laughs> Roman, I you, don't believe you drinking, you drinking your, your, your drink there reminds me of the thing. Where he's playing. The no, yeah, exactly. I'm not going to dump it in my computer and call it a name, though, because I need I need my yeah. computer. <laughs> Although there are some Thursdays, I'm not going to lie, I'm tempted. <laughs> now, if a spider comes along, you might dump it on your computer involuntarily. <clears throat> let's let's not talk about that now. Okay, I didn't I didn't have time to do a, a, an appropriate spider check out here, so it could be happening right now. It could just be waiting under the keyboard just for something to happen. It's going to crawl out. Then things get comical. Hey, you get a clip. Bitch. Everybody laughs. You know, it's fine. Hey, Mando's so, yeah, got ghosts in the darkness. You've got spiders. Better. <laughs> Mine's They've legit. Drilled the is... deepest man has drilled. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, I'm Mando. Sorry, we need show. a new mic. Um, <laughs> so much, so much sounds so far away. It's like a little sorry. squeak. <laughs> Sorry, I I need to get better about not moving away from the mic when I yell. That's that's the problem is I keep moving away from the mic. Is that a spider? I, don't, no. I, I, I was going to save it to afterwards because it wasn't happening that often. I didn't want to detract the stream, but I think it has something to do with your volume gate or your noise gate because it's when you get louder it brings you way down. Uh. But you'll just have to. That's something you'll have to play around with the oh, settings I, I and try to figure take out. the mic. Take it off of adjust volume on Streamyards. I I've done I've done that. So it just it just stays consistent. So when you're Jacob, loud, did you, did you're you turn loud. on the, the female filter? Did you turn that on? Oh <laughs> no, uh, that, that, that's a good. I, I forgot did about you, that. Um... That's a special option for uh, for, for male stream yard users. Okay, I turned it off. Is this better? <laughs> it's much like the wife filter. Ooh, yes. I, I don't know. Uh, Lean back and say something. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what to say. Uh, that wasn't it. Say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no you you actually you yeah. almost became invisible there it was it was, it was mildly yeah. impressive really in fact i want to get my wife that whatever hey, that is mando. I need that <laughs> mando try turning the front of the mic toward you more because some mics have to point What's like directly the at candle you to... back <laughs> no one else got that joke i'm sorry that was that was terrible. <laughs> yeah we got it we got it <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is great. They're talking yeah, about so those they're course celebrating. Yes. Yeah. We drilled a lot. Yay. We did. They, things. they penetrated yeah. more deeply than anyone else ever had. We dug deep into that ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> yeah, Xander Berkeley and Felicity Ooh. Huffman pre it's, 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 pre prison it, sentence. <laughs> oh, oh my. Yeah. Um it's it's gray pantsuit day. I also like gray pantsuit day. It's not as good as brown pantsuit day though. So just you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Sometimes you need to wear those brown pants, you know. And yeah. she and she wears them well. What I like is it it her it really complements her hair. So, you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. I don't control these yeah. situations. I just admire them. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to come up with a club and take my man card at any time here. <laughs> um. <laughs> I forget what the dialogue is here. It, it's it, it really it doesn't nothing really gets moving until they go to the hangar to meet the pilot and the rest right. of the people. Right. I mean, I know um, he's telling her like how cold it's going to be, and because uh, they're basically getting sent here, which he I think he says something like uh, what like it means like either they're seen as expendable or uh, something <laughs> oh, else. That's right. Um. Um. 
Well, also they only have, they have a pretty limited window because there's the, uh, what, another weather weather for. Oh, I love this guy. He is fucking. That's ugly. gold, Jerry. Gold. Shame, 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 shame on this guy is freaking hilarious. Um, he's 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 actually my favorite character in the episode. I, he's just a lot of fun. He was on Seinfeld. He was a comedian of the era, and he was yeah, also I, I just... in a movie we did a few months back. Uh, the the, the uh, with the angels, the fallen angels, uh, the prophecy. He was the he was the coroner in the autopsy. Oh okay. yeah, in, in the coroner in the autopsy. He was the coroner in the prophecy. And Jay's not wrong here. The dialogue is Scully doubting everything, and Mulder talking about cons conspiracy theories. It's all that's true. We actually didn't need to know what it was. This part was was dorked up because um, they, they get there and they're like, "Hey, we yeah. need to see your credentials. We need to see who you are." And he's like, "What?" Like, yeah, it's just weird. More, more, more like trying to play more like into the, this guy wanting to show who he was. Yeah, yeah. He was who he is. One funny <laughs> thing about this episode is, uh, so this guy, uh, the, the comedian, he's uh, you know he's listening to old like Chargers game stuff. Yeah, and uh, my brother was kind of he he was like he was like I don't know he goes is that is that realistic he goes because you know he knows I'm a football fan and I was like well I said here's the thing because he's a fan of a team like the chargers who've never won a super bowl. This actually does make sense that that would be what he'd listen to. I was like, that actually makes some sense. Cause I mean, if your, if your team never wins, you know, generally speaking, you're not all that happy about your team. You, you don't have a generally positive sentiment, but if you want to have one, you go back and you listen to games that you won. You, you generally have to kind of live in yeah. the past. But uh, I was like, so well, I mean, it's, but it's yeah. oddly good writing, even if they didn't necessarily realize how good it was. But yeah. I mean, I listen to old stuff. I listen to I listen to old Art Bell broadcasts. You mm -hmm. know, they're from 1993. Yeah, and I know that none of this stuff is going to come to fruition. But I still enjoy listening. And I've heard these broadcasts. I heard them live back in the day. And it's still, I mean, you just find that thing you love and bring it forward. Especially, you know, you know, if you if you're an unfortunate yeah. Chargers fan, being in San Diego, I know what that means. I remember every time we traveled at night. We listened to Art Bell because it was like one on one of the clear channels. So you could watch it just about anywhere. They're listening anywhere. Yeah, it, it's, it's, and it's so, like I said, so listening to a recorded broadcast isn't a lot different. They didn't have podcasts really at this point. So you're just kind of, you know, making do. Yeah. Also, that other dude looks like a less attractive Nick Cage. <laughs> but he is a genuinely <laughs> good character actor. I do like this guy. He's oh, in well, freaking I, I, everything. I think I think the character is performed well. I, I I actively dislike him in the episode. This guy, well, yeah, you're holy supposed cats. to dislike him. The, the he, this guy's been in awesome. 200, 250 different movies and shows. Got a long list. Of like, my credentials. I'm gonna fly you up there. They're my credentials. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. No I one else is gonna do this. Like, I've been rocking it since cage? the '70s, man. Dude, you look like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he looks just freaking like Steven Tyler. Looks just like him. <laughs> he does. Small plane. Yeah, I was like, they fit all those wrong. people and all their gear in there. <laughs> I I like, no much. way. Not in a Cessna. No, that's, no. That's they they would have. They would have had no yeah. fuel, and it would have been way over takeoff weight. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty. Um. <laughs> I mean, with no luggage, you might have been able to fit everybody in there, but yeah, that's. But it's just like having sex in a Volkswagen; it's uncomfortable. <laughs> so, if the heating was still on, uh, I guess that's what I was wondering too. Is like, hmm. So, it must have just. It, it, I guess it just you. happened because. Like no decomposition, kind of, uh, decomposition does not seem to have set in here. Well, well maybe well, I, for, I do forget what was the timeline between when uh, our our guys got this and when they got up there. It wasn't very long. It was a couple of days, maybe, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got. You, the... you still may not see like serious signs of decomp anyway. Especially, it's still colder up there. I mean, if the heat was pumping away, then yeah. But well, yeah, because they they make they make mention of the fact that the heat uh, was uh, going really really strong like it had malfunctioned and it was like really hot in there 
For I me, thought though, that's when they turned it on, or was it hot in there when they walked in? No, they turned it on and it, it started heating up. And then it was and then it malfunctioned, right? Yeah, 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 and then yeah, it yeah, made it real hot. So right now it's cold. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the yeah. other thing is, is that I, just the whole chain of events of how, why were they called? Like off of just some kind of like radio thing. Oh, we're not who we are. My thinking would be an, another team would have went there and tried to like figure out what went on and something would have happened to them. But also, well, no one's mentioned it this. It does show the when it when it moves off that opening scene, it actually the camera picked up the fight and the dead guy on the ground. So that's what I think prompted them to. Right, but why would they call the X File people from the FBI? And not just send like the military up there or something. Because it's weird. Yeah. Hey, 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 let's not destroy plot devices. All right. <laughs> no, that's well. how about we, we <laughs> sh- about a couple of things here. Uh, yeah, but the EPA said no. <laughs> they tried to call a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy, the guy was trying to shut him down again. What's his name? Walter Peck. Yeah, Walter Peck. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of get the sense that they sent them for the reason for the re- one of the reasons Mulder laid out. He's like, well, they're expendable. So if anything's really wrong there, we'll just right. you know, we'll send yeah. we'll send Mulder and well, Scully. And it's fine. Something this big, I kind of assumed that some information about what they had found had already been sent ahead. So it's like the higher ups, or maybe the government got a hold yeah. of it and thought, right? We yeah. To, so we need to learn a little bit somewhere. more about this, and yeah, sent in people that well, isn't that deal a plot with weird device? stuff? Also, kind of expendable. Isn't it the plot a plot device for the show? Like somebody has been feeding them, like later seasons, somebody has been feeding them these files and these missions to kind of. Well, you know, Deep Throat, Deep Throat has uh, a, a major part in a lot of the information that they get. I don't think he was actually yeah. tied to this specific uh, episode, though. But remember what they do discover. They, they believe this is an extraterrestrial, though. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, so but I don't think that's actually leaked to any of uh, th- I think that's all self-contained within the episode, though. I don't think anybody outside this team ever okay. knows that any of that stuff happened. That's who knows. I mean, I imagine they would have wanted to keep it on the hush hush. Well, and I mean, the dog attacks. You don't want you. You don't want the threat. Oh, the dog attacks. Yeah, this was good though. I love that they use the dog again. We get some thing references here, and again, yeah. I have to say, no one's mentioned it yet. Scully's coat is fabulous. <laughs> well, like I said in the last episode, it's not June. So. <laughs> <laughs> whatever um, <laughs> if they have a new term for me whatever, right now, which I'm not going to entertain <laughs> um, yeah the stuff with the dog I thought was, was very well done though yeah um, the way the doctors approach the dog and then oh uh oh and somebody hides this from everybody you know there's only like six people in the room I think, and, and brother who got bit by a sad it, animal just kind of like... Ooh, it's how it always is. It's always the guy that gets bit by a zombie or something and hides mm-hmm. it, then gets yeah. taken into the inner sanctum, past all the defenses, and then they're like, oh, I was bit, but I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, they know he, he, was, he got bit, but he says, just give me the medicine, give me the stuff, I'll take care of myself. And I have right, to yeah. believe that he's just been... An, ornery pain in the butt the entire flight so nobody really wants to deal with it yeah but if, so they're if fine. you had really got go bit by something and well okay he doesn't know he's infected so it's just the dog i can see that i'll just wrap but, it myself because you know. they don't know they're dealing with with something that could well, infect anybody yet but very soon well and we'll, we'll get there in a second though but the, 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 this is a very yeah. important scene that we're looking at right now the black spots yeah so yeah. They, they find these black spots on the dog like, oh, also bad, bad if you're coming know. out of a port in Thailand, if you're ever curious. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roman and I have lived since the beginning of time. And we know these things about the black spots. That's true. 
I want to know what court you come out of that it's good. No, no, there's not one that is good. There are are several that it's bad. No, there's not. There's not a good one. Not not good. Also, I think the dog's like been chewing. That that looks like the back of the neck from the guy in the previous episode. By the way, yeah, yeah. Well, because they check the back of everyone's neck uh, at different points of the episode because they're like because that's where the uh that's where the parasite res- uh, rests is at the spine so that's why you generally would see marks or scratches near the neck eddie vetter uh in 1996 <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that, that 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 sets on real quick with those spots in his armpit so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. so once he figures yeah. out that he does have this this is the time to be like ah oh, dude i got to you know i should tell him because they're doctors and stuff. Yeah. And they can maybe help me. Because y- you don't know. Maybe this will kill you. you know? Exactly. But they always yeah. got to keep like, it a secret, man. Like then one then of that's the how first you things somebody the... says that's, is, is this the bubonic plague? That's just the pits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, that, you know, but this is how you wind up with zombie babies. Because yeah. people are bit that are pregnant and they don't tell nobody. Yeah. And then they have a zombie baby. Not good. <laughs> like the, the uh, oh. 2004 movie. Yeah. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought there was one called Zombie Babies or something. No, no there's probably no, one out there. But it didn't there, happen there to the be. little. If there isn't, we but should. It didn't it. happen to the. I agree. Little weirdo in the Last of Us TV show. I didn't watch that, so I've played the and game. You, but... you have no place here, then, Gord. <laughs> uh, the game, the game, it was pretty. <laughs> The, the, I, like I mean, the, the show the was the game. show was pretty pretty close to the game. Yeah. It had a few deviations, but I because what I do is I'd watch an episode of the show and then I'd watch some gameplay. To, to I mean, see we did, the game the game is I, I say the game is better. It didn't have that really gay episode, so <laughs> yeah, <Gay>? yeah, <laughs> that's true. True. So. Yeah, that was nowhere in the in there. Oh, nah. no, it wasn't. <laughs> so here, here's so the pilot should, being particularly. This, this should have been a warning. Though. This should have been yeah, a really. warning to them. It's yes, like, the, uh, kind of one main thing that bothers me is okay? I'm like, okay, this guy's clearly been, you know, he's been bitten, you know, he's got a bandage, and he's very, he's paranoid. And I'm like, guys, I'm not thinking to check. It's like, go ahead and check this guy. And I know they don't fully know what they're dealing with, but it's like, uh, I'd, I'd be taking a little bit more precaution with him. I, w- I I'd be, yeah. I'd be. I wouldn't want even want him walking around. It's like they seem to, they understand that they have to quarantine and everything. But I'm like, I would be starting that now, you know, before this guy could even threaten to infect you. You were exposed to blood. You both are getting quarantined right now. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, is it at this point have they discovered the the organism yet, or are they still just kind of? Uh, So, so that's why I'm thinking that. I'm excusing it because, like I said, the, I'm, I'm expecting the entire flight. He was just a, a pain to deal with. And he, we already saw the attitude that he just really he's kind of an extreme person. Yep. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking they probably are just writing that off as him not wanting to be stuck in the weather or something or wants to get back and act, see a doctor yeah. but then want them to mess with him or something like that. And I kind of write off him not right. saying anything because as we eventually learn, the organism is already messing with his brain and his judgment. I, I, I like, like that this guy has this, it, it, this guy earlier. Go, 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 go. Earlier, uh, Mulder was talking to him. Have you ever been near ice? He's like, uh, when there's a keg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he's looking at, Mulder's been reading the charts and the maps and things, and, yep. and he's checking to make sure what he sees is correct, where they thought the ice in that area was, what, like 2,000? I, she was like 2,000 feet thick or whatever, but it ended up being like 3,000, so they were able to dig yes. even further back into history. Yeah, and what mm-hmm. yeah, what they found was much older than what they anticipated finding. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Much like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you found your wife in ice? <laughs> <laughs> no, she found me in ice. <laughs> it was like in Sino, like man. <laughs> I'm unfrozen <laughs> Roman lawyer. Um, <laughs> she found you. 
she found you in ice with a layer of whiskey around you. <laughs> Cro Cro I don't Magnin, understand your Cro strange of the ways. <laughs> <laughs> your modern <laughs> sensibilities. Um, the blonde lady, I felt I felt kind of bad for her uh, because she's she's attached to uh, the other scientist, but. She's she's a much nicer person because he's the 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 guy the the, the discount Nick Cage is is definitely uh, he's 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 an egomaniac kind of guy. Um, the other scientist, the yeah. this this dude is a nice dude. He's just an all around nice dude. And then Eddie Vedder is not your friend. Just the the weird personality yeah. types yeah. in the, in the episode. The other personality types in the episode. So here's where they find the uh, parasite or whatever it is. Why isn't it showing it? Jeremy spoke in class today. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, now he's actually there starting to get a little bit worried that they found something. There he is. Because <laughs> yeah. they did. There's Jeremy the critter. Yep, Dermy the worm there. <laughs> but yes, this would be the time you would expect that he would speak up. Uh, now it's no longer excusable that they <laughs> don't here. want to check him. That that I, I can't explain away. Uh, well, it might already be controlling him, kind of. Well, that that point. I get. Yeah, his, his no, but behavior, everybody else yes. should have had a reaction to. Oh, him. been like, yeah. yeah, yo, bro, you got bit by the dog and it was infected so yeah i get it yeah yeah i would have just been like dude you look like steven tyler you gotta go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the world it's it's tough enough having one of those and, uh, <laughs> like that's the, the gene pool can only have so much <laughs> He also yeah. looks a little chromatic. Yeah. I, I was about to say the same. <laughs> yeah. the I was going to say, unless yeah, you can yeah. produce me a Liv Tyler right now. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm genuinely wondering if this guy, like, played one of those Geico cavemen right now. In the Geico commercial, right? Yeah. Actually, did anybody look it up? Yeah, I'm in? starting to look it up right now. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> flying, flying an airplane. So easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> yeah. Did it? Wasn't there like maybe that was just a troll, but there was like outrage about that. Like it was making they're making fun of cavemen, and somehow it, it, it translated yeah, into let's, let's ourselves. Some, that was, yeah, some people that the spirit of the were, age is yeah, weird. we're offended by it or something. Again, yeah, he's got that brow yes. though. It's amazing. Look at that not ridge, this guy. That forehead ridge. It's impressive. Yeah, it's, it's not this guy. He's just but. He just happens to have that kind of look. So he has an unnatural Neanderthal look. Eh, it's fair, fair enough, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And they're all like, we need to go someplace where they can actually take care of this. Uh, no, yeah, it, and then we need like, to be Whoa. quarantined. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And that's a, and that is a, I mean, put yourself in that spot, though. That's a tough spot to be in. You, you know that you are not going to be able to actually accomplish what you want to there, probably. But you also know that if there's some kind of, you know, contagion, you can't take it out of this zone. And there's a storm coming in. There's just like so many variables going on that you're yeah. fighting against. So they need, they're going to test everybody and they need a blood sample and a stool. Ha <laughs> 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 uh -huh. It's like, I'm not so doing angry. It's angry cave. Hey, man. it's like, hey, man. You gotta you gotta check to see if your deuces are wild, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying Steven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so horrible, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this in you know, I, I joked about how Scully is often wrong in these shows. This is one of the episodes where she is kind of at her her most right. She has a little bit of wrong here too, yeah. but it's more, it's, it's a good kind of practical. She's the one who has to be kind of suspicious of everybody. And uh, yeah. there, there is a point where, where everybody becomes unreasonably paranoid though. And it doesn't make mm -hmm. a lot of sense. 
Yeah. It will, it will hit that. It's going to, everybody's going to be like, the, everything you're doing now, none, none of this makes sense. Yeah. But, oh, Eddie Vedder, where are you going, buddy? Yeah, he just wants to, to leave. He's like, Ooh, don't you see the him? animal claws on my necklace? You can't tell me what to do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like, like, I'm sorry, buddy. our second album versus was not as good. <clears throat> oh, this was creepy as F, though. Yeah, the yeah. thing under the skin was was genuinely yeah. ew. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty like, creepy. Let's, let's the, uh, the effects look pretty good for like yeah. the skin thing. I mean, at least until they get the thing yeah. in the bottle and then it's a CGI. Then magic, it becomes, so. yeah, yeah. yeah, the CGI was <laughs> dreadful. That was terrible. But but the rest of it was was very, was, was yeah. solid. Yeah. This yeah, was like, part's, kind uh, of freaky too when they were playing yeah. it out. It does sure make about. me laugh a little bit that you got like Scully and all the people are like grimacing when they see this and I'm like, Scully, I'm pretty sure it has a medical background, so I'm like, yeah, yeah I thought she probably, was supposed to be seen like a... far worse than this by this point. Yeah, yeah. I know she, she's seen Mulder's ties every morning. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which it was all which should be on some take. kind of FBI list. All yeah, of their yeah own. all of their own. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen this tie? <laughs> no wonder they called him Spooky. Right? <laughs> Have you seen his ties? <laughs> and they're up, actually toward the end of this they're like they've Oof. been days without sleep so mm -hmm. yeah nobody nobody slept everybody probably than... smells bad because the heat's on overdrive in, in fact right. they're all still dressed really heavy for the fact that the heat's been on overdrive does this last more than a couple of days though i i had... Or is it? Uh, maybe it's the course of a day. That you could be right. Yeah, it's yeah, hard. I think, to, yeah, I think it's. I think it's like, like the they. The they only stay up like overnight, like one night. I think. And we oh, don't even easy. necessarily Anybody, know exactly a baby how baby can do long. that. Yeah. <laughs> can do that. I mean, they're basically inclined to. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Look, Mulder. I don't trust you. Well, I'm sorry. Discount Nick Cage. Um. <laughs> It's like, it's like uh, of of the four of us, only one of us has gone to prison for a college admission scandal. So <laughs> we should be looking at her. That's how I knew she was evil all along. <laughs> it's like that, yeah, and she was in Transamerica. You can't trust her. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Desperate Housewives, yeah, I mean she's totally sus. And she's in the back. She's like hiding in the background. That's the other thing. She's like, everybody else is up front. She's, they keep her in the back. Um, the level of disagreement about what, how to move forward here is, is pretty intense though. It gets, it gets mm -hmm. very hot. And I think the only, well, Scully is, is reasonably well contained as well as uh chargers guy. Yeah. Mulder and the other dude uh, want to want to kill each other. And the lady, the other lady scientist is just kind of there kind of keeping her distance. Yeah, they actually do a really good job character because like you're kind of they do. you know that he thinks Mulder is the one who's infected. You know, I mean it's a we the audience, we know it's not Mulder, but we're inclined to think because of the way it's written that he is going to be the one that ends up being right. infected. So it's good misdirection. How do we know it's not you? How do I know it's not you? Yeah. But but like I said, but you that it's definitely the thing vibe. Oh absolutely. Um, you know, it's I built guess, on paranoid yeah, they're and they're uh, isolated in you know in a very confined space and you know it just it is it's exactly what it is but i'm okay with that i it's still it's still i think one of the more interesting early episodes uh because it's not the the ufo standard loop so i think it's a, i think it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He tells her it's extraterrestrial. These creatures could be extraterrestrial. And she's yes. like, oh, no, you crazy person. Right. <laughs> You're so extra. <laughs> 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 I 
All right, Scully. So yeah, because his, his argument is like the the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, well, it's also her, her counter argument, argument right. is nothing could survive in uh, that that cold for that long. And his mm-hmm. other argument is there are planets with atmospheres that or, everything is that cold. Or made of, or, well, I think it's the like other guy who says that nothing could have survived that long. I think. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Well, also, Mulder's arguing <laughs> that if this is an alien life form, that they they shouldn't destroy it. Mm-hmm. Which. Yeah. Because he's basically from Mulder's he's standpoint, that, you can get it, but from yeah, because he's any, like, what if we have to other... fight something like this later on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I could see government getting already, their hand on it and like, well, exactly. we can make this, we can make this into a weapon. Yeah. yeah, it's just like the xenomorph. It's the same thing. If government can get their hands on anything that can go horrible, they will. Mm-hmm. It was it was a bad call, yes. Ripley. A bad call. <laughs> a bad <laughs> call. <laughs> from <Yeah>. Orton, <laughs> <laughs> But we, you know, it's win-win. Nobody, nobody comes out ahead. (laughs) (laughs) And she's like, nuke it from orbit. Right. It's the only way to be sure. Yeah. And that's how you know that's a good movie because we're still quoting it. We're still thirty years later. Mm -hmm. This poor guy just wants to listen to his game, man. He just wants to be left alone. Listen to his game. Look at the little weird little alien thing. This guy is just like... And they're already paranoid. They're like, those government yeah. people, they knew what this thing was here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, they've been, they've been for whatever reason, uh, Discount Nick Cage is like, I knew the FBI knew what was going on. I shouldn't have done leaving Las Vegas. But they, they, <laughs> they he's, he's, he's already <laughs> paranoid because they're FBI. They, they could have right. been anybody else, but because they're FBI, it freaks right. them out so much. I can't imagine that doing leaving Las Vegas is a regret. <laughs> I've watched it. Thinking, I, I well, you've watched it, but he he I got an think? Oscar and he got to drink I, champagne I, and he did one of not the mo- excel like, after that movie though. I mean, he uh, couldn't, but he got to drink champagne <laughs> off of Elizabeth Shue, so I'm sure he doesn't regret <laughs> that. <laughs> she's she's thinking, how am I going to get my kids through college? <laughs> yeah. <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just get this alien back, that could be my ticket. <laughs> this housewife is feeling desperate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Angry like, Are you okay, Skelly? You're acting a little strange. And you no, know, well, I think Chargers guys are like, why won't Jerry go to dinner with me? <laughs> Super asking and asking. Uh, they did a pretty good job on the set. Like these boxes in the back say Arctic, Arctic Ice Core Project, and so they just didn't throw some because they could have just thrown some boxes back there and called it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, you know? yeah no, no, yeah. yeah, anything on them. But the set in general for this is 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 very good. They've got just enough science gear. Um, and then they've got like the corrugated uh, metal areas mm-hmm. um, and the drums of stuff. And it and it it's it it does look like an outpost. It doesn't look like somewhere. It, it does. It where you know, they didn't turn an office into a set kind of thing. Right, where everything's made of like this kind of plywood kind of stuff. That's how it really looks in places like that, where it's like temporary. So they're they're gonna so they're... strip down and check each other for the. The oh. black bumps. <laughs> and, and I love where... what Mulder says yeah. here. He's like, before anybody makes any comments, remember, we're in the Arctic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in the pool. <laughs> it's the hot girl scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they, they, they lingered on this world. for a while. <laughs> I just all wondering how rooms. she didn't see the thing. Like she did a thorough examination of the chick. Well, the black spots are very they're temporary. Yeah. So, and she right. I guess she probably hasn't started scratching her neck yet. So this is this timing. is a point in the writing <clears throat> that I found a bit confusing. Um, 
everybody decides they're going to go to their own rooms. I personally would not have wanted to do that. I would have been wanted to be paired no. with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, because of the isolation is like, one, I don't know these other three people. I know who you are. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, Charger guy, he's probably on his own, but like Mulder and Scully, I would have like, Hey, can we, do you mind just kind of hanging out? Uh, ain't no one going to get a lot of sleep tonight. Anyway. We just look at each other for, and I can, but, I can tell you interesting stories of the underworld, yeah. but they check and, and those, they go to night lighting, which is the other thing. They, they check for those black bumps, but they also know that they disappear because they're not on the dog anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they, they, so they the while they have yeah. checked that, you know, you might not want to be in a room with somebody asleep if they actually are infected and start going crazy in the middle of the night. Except I mean, you can tell except. she's still paranoid, even though she oh, yeah. pitched the idea to check because she shoves that in, in, in front of the door and doesn't sleep. Right. Yeah. Underneath, I mean that the bosom. That's a pretty pressure. creepy thing. A little, a little creepy crawly can get in you. I, I don't think I could sleep. <laughs> yeah, especially one that starts off as a single-celled organism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This this guy's like writing down everybody's exposure level or something. Mm-hmm. Just like coming, going over like a timeline of the events. It's like this. Person I mean, he, got he could have he could and... been he could have been like halfway through the list. We don't see him finish it with him and his buddy. But I did find it interesting that him and the female scientists are not on that list. Like he already has decided that they're fine. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. Right. Also, I, so I have another question. Why is Mulder like stripping down to go to sleep? Though, I get that may be the way he normally sleeps. But if I'm in this situation, I am sleeping fully clothed up, ready to pounce at a moment's notice if need be. Well, here's the other thing is you're in yeah. the Arctic, right? So you're in there, you know, they've got something weird going on. The generator could go down. You got to have your shoes on. So you're ready to like, exactly. yeah, you're right. Make sure you wear your jacket or yeah. have it with you. So if you have to run outside real quick, you don't freeze to death. Also make sure you're strapped. You know, you, gun. you don't just have to throw yeah. your stuff together in a, you know, yeah, you, you're ready to go. That's it's this is all, this, is, this not is the other vacation part. Mulder. It, get, Come on, <laughs> our Arctic vacation Mulder. It's like a GI Joe version. Um, <laughs> they go to these, they go to this night lighting though. And I don't, and again, unless the, the camp makes it go to night lighting, I would have overridden this and make sure that it's always lit. And th- again, this is just this is crazy Roman because crazy Roman would not want anything to uh, impede. If I have to get up quickly, I don't want everything to be red light. I want to be able yeah. to see what's going on, you know, that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. I, it, the creep factor, I guess, I mean, yes, it, it definitely ups that from a pragmatic standpoint, though, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I mean, logically, there would be probably an override switch someplace, but also it does make sense to have it automatically do that being so far in, up in the Arctic to try to keep your sleep cycle on schedule. Oh well, yeah. When we're is, on the ship, we, we yeah. go to red lights at night. I mean, it's, it's the same, yeah. it's the same similar situation, but yeah, I, I agree. I mean, for the tension, it's fantastic, but yeah, logically. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you, you did it. A funk. Oh, gold! I love that guy. (laughs) I just wanted it was dinner. Soup isn't dinner. (laughs) 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 Like, what are you doing? This is where I'll start blaming Mulder. It's like. Clearly, I didn't do this. I found him in there, and it fell out on me. Look at this. It's bad, this bad is... timing for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, of course, he's acting, you know, pretty well, angry. Yeah, tensions are high again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody chill the F out. <laughs> it's like Reservoir Dogs. 
Yeah. Yeah. These are some pretty extreme reactions for this being the first night. Right. <laughs> yeah. Lock him up. Lock him up. Thanks, he's just, he He's on edge. He, he's not used to wearing a shirt this late at night. <laughs> chafing my nipples <laughs> I don't like chafing <laughs> alright Balter let's see your nipples these people are asleep after somebody's been killed yeah, yeah they, they knocked out like pretty that. easy like babies she's like i'm just checking and then they freak out that she's just checking chill people chill and then like and here's here's what uh was it gourd saying they they take the clip out but they don't clear the round in the chamber yeah right mm -hmm. Oh, beard was saying that sorry well no, yeah or, i was i was or, just saying it's it's not a clip or nobody, acknowledge nobody calls those clips fact, yeah or acknowledge the fact that there were already two guns there Magazines, from the two guys at the beginning exactly. that they don't deal with but you know comes into play later it's in Chekhov's evidence bag yeah yeah <laughs> You know, I'm only seeing this now, especially it's kind of once since Roman pointed out her, that earlier shot where she was always in the background and mm -hmm. she seems to be distanced certain her distance from the camera and from the group and almost mm -hmm. everything. But she's yeah. not, she's usually the one that's acting the most calm, which throws yeah, us off as the viewer. Well, well yeah, the other because you, you don't think about her. You don't think about her at yeah. all. Well, and the other good bit of this direction is how uh they keep referencing the scratches on the back of the neck but if you i mean really the only infected person or organism to have that was the dog because nobody else scratches the back of their neck so they're really checking just to see if anyone else is doing it but no one else actually throughout this does it so it's really just a self-inflicted thing that yeah. somebody does if they have that parasite possibly yeah. you know they don't even know that would be an actual symptom so it's a it's it's a good way to misdirect you because they're like, well, this person doesn't have it, so it must not be them. It's like, it's not really that important of a factor. It's just a thing that, right? Uh, it's just a thing the dog happened to have. They've, they've been doing all this testing with the blood, and she mixed. Yes, this the part is great. Clean blood with the tainted blood. Another reference to the thing. The, well, the and she messes is... up here, though. She gives him, she, because they have infected blood, and she gives him infected blood. Mm -hmm. So there are two parasites, and that's right. where yeah. it, she screwed up, and they he has an overreaction because he's kind of a douche, and she's like, "Well, maybe you should do it yourself." Discount Nicholas Cage. And then Scully's like, hey. well, "Plus, and how angry they're both acting." She's like, "Wait a minute, yeah. right? right. It... Maybe who's infected, right? Because they're it's right. supposed to make them rage. So who's infected? And then uh, so you don't know. They did a good job of of that. Yeah. Of um." You know, but yeah, they discovered that two yep. parasites cannot, cannot co exist. They cannot coexist. Mm -hmm. Turns out they're alien beta fish. Exactly. Right? That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> and since they uh, they um, pr reproduce asexually, they don't need a, 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 a mate. So that's why they always want to kill each other. Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't have zoomed in. The CG was passable no, to you. Just zoomed so in. bad, yeah. Just really bad. <laughs> yeah. It's I like mean, really, it, guys, for the for the for when they're still, you couldn't have gotten a prop there. It, it, it's it's ninety three. You're lucky you even had this. It wasn't just some rubber worms in there. If rubber worms might have been a good yeah. alternative. To yeah. Be yeah. Be <laughs> get some get some string or wiry work in there i'm i'm sure it could have been done practically it's like guys that that looks horrendous 
but it was it was just a time period where people were trying to implement CGI yeah. and they were like, oh, well, let's let's get let's jump on that bandwagon. It's like, yeah, you, you should have stayed off of it. <laughs> so they to test test it out to see if the worm will kill the other worm. The worms will kill each other without killing the host. They get the dog, sedate the dog and the poor dog, the poor dog. Animal the testing is cool. Yeah. Poor dog. Ah, oh, the wrath of Khan. Oh no. They're just they're they just inserted CGI into its ear. <laughs> but then the dog's fine. Right, yo. You can't up, kill guys? dogs. You can't kill dogs on TV. Hey guys. You're not allowed to do that. Sorry. Sorry I bit that dude earlier. <laughs> I, I I'd like my rock greens now. Also, there is a place in here <laughs> where I pee. This is not it. Please find it. I bet Steven Tyler because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It is a little funny to me that all they do is like listen with a stethoscope. Ah, oh, he's fine. I guess he's good to go. <laughs> it's like that's it. That's that's the only test you have to run. It's like, well, we put the worm in and he sounded okay, so we're good. Let's let him out. It's like, kind of feel like you'd want to be a little bit more thorough than that, but maybe give him the food inside the cage. But okay. <laughs> And they're like, they're absolutely for sure that Mulder has the worm. So they're like, let's give it to him now. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He he caught the worms from the dog. Yep. Gross. <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> That's a oh my gosh. <laughs> I do appreciate that they did a bit of makeup work to make it look like okay, she's tired and he's tired. It's like they they have done that little yeah. bit of extra work Scully, to make it look like. Scully's like, I I wouldn't believe you, Mulder. Well, you pointed a gun at me, right? <laughs> well, don't worry, I got rid of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You what? <laughs> Nothing there. And she nope. makes to leave, and he's like, nah, -uh, I'm checking you yeah, too. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm checking that out. <laughs> yeah. Now let's do the front. <laughs> and these two are out here conspiring about the two in there conspiring. Yep. Yeah, things things go all wacko here. Yeah, she rapidly blocks. things 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 go rapidly bad. Like immediately, it went from, ah, uh, you know, we're we're still kind of suspicious to everyone needs to die. <laughs> it's like no, no, if I remember no, right, no. It, if I remember right, it was a uh, the lady, Doctor Silva, that was like pushing the other guy. Like, but she's gonna. It's it's him. Oh, it's, then he sees it though. Yeah. Big old weird thing, and that's a good oh effect. God. That's uh, that's yeah, a, that light cool. years better. It, it yeah, is. It is the because a jar. yeah, that thing under the skin. That's a good look. Because you, you would think that it would be like a weird like glue on patch or something, but you just couldn't tell at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. yeah, whatever they did, they did a nice job with that. Yeah. It might have even yeah. been like a dummy, you know, with. Yeah, something elastic. like that. But it, it was real believable, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the, uh, yeah, yeah. The under the flesh movement looked good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she's just going like, full on nuts. I'm going she's for going the for the evidence gun. She, she likes I do think it. that. It's a good gun, Beretta. <laughs> where he's putting the worm in her ear, uh, it's. It's funny looking because you can tell, like his 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 hand goes nowhere near where her ear would be, <laughs> like yeah. not even close. He just I'm like, the that's not her, her ear. Hand. It's like, did you just drop it like on her nose or something? It's like you that's didn't even get nose. close to where her ear would be. 
She's like, no. We don't really no. want to put an uh, actual mealworm in there. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah the, yeah, the live worm and the CGI worm are just very different creatures. Um, yes. And the good guys win. Yes. What happened to the dog, though? Who and this is dog? definitely not filmed on location because nowhere anywhere do you see anybody's breath these actors had to be suffering in that no. cold weather gear <laughs> right like, why are we back in vancouver yeah. it's so warm comparatively <laughs> blowing on his hands <laughs> blowing the sweat <laughs> off his hands My yeah right <laughs> but yeah, yeah but the you dog guys already and... knew right yeah, yeah like then... that's if that's the, actually, winter, the, it's like Texas winter. They just incinerated the entire area of that base, too. Mm -hmm. They nuked the site for more, but the government around. would do. They nuked it. They did. Yeah, because Muller wanted to go back and yeah. get a sample, an Samples. actual sample, but yeah. Didn't you know? You guys are supposed to know the stuff. Please go away from me. Yeah, and it being the government, whether the government in the X Files world or the real world here, here, I have to believe the government went in there and got a ton of samples before they nuked it. Oh, and then and then nuked it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's lost. No. Yeah, it's, yeah you got to yeah. cover those tracks. Yep, mm -hmm. and it goes in a big warehouse right next to the Ark of the Covenant. <clears throat> that's yep. right. Yep. yep, that's right. Well, that's that, people. That's that last one. That, those I, are all, I like those I, are I, all I, the X Files. That episode. That's not all the X Files. <laughs> uh, that's, but that's a that's a really. I enjoyed the episode watching. Yes, we poked fun at it a little bit, but, I, but it's a watching it. It's a very enjoyable episode. Far yeah, mo more so than the Harry Computer Guy. I did. I didn't prefer yeah. that episode. Uh, that was a <laughs> tough one to kind of get through. This one, where you're, you you're in there, and you're like, no, oh, this is this is solid work. Yeah. You're stealing a lot from the thing, but it's still solid work. Yeah, the first episode is yeah. like it, it's a good idea. I I I don't dislike the episode, but it's it's done in a way where it feels like a, a very low budget C movie with a couple of really good actors in it, uh, that being the leads. And then uh, this episode, you know, obviously is paying a lot of homage to the thing and doing so mostly pretty well. It is it benefits from the isolation and the small cast yeah. and. Uh, the tension that it builds, like yeah, this is a uh, this is a very enjoyable episode. I like it a lot. Well, and the cast is all very yeah. good. I mean, obviously for your your A list players, mm -hmm. but down to the pilot who wasn't in it particularly long. Yeah, that was a, he, the he, Everyone does a really good job with the bit they've been given for this, uh, and because it's yeah, such a small do. cast, you don't have the throwaway character kind of thing. Yeah, I think this is one of the episodes that people watched and went, oh, okay, this show's getting pretty good. Yeah. Um, throughout uh this you know this season at least um you know so it has a good enough to where it's going to get picked up for another season because people are watching it and this yeah. is back in the day where yeah. you know network tv it was an episode a week and you would talk about it at work yes or at school or whatever yeah, yeah. hey what they, what did they you call see it the water cooler show yeah do you see x files and you know they put the worm and in, in, in that in that dude or whatever in the dude and the yeah. dude the man and the thing man the stuff <laughs> it's funny though because this uh, episode I just was up. actually i was just saying this this episode is sandwiched Go between ahead, uh at least as far as as far as imdb is concerned this episode is sandwiched between the two lowest rated episodes of the first season the ghost of the machine really? episodes the, yeah, the Ghost in the Machine episode is the second lowest rated episode at a 6.7 out of 10. And the one after this, uh, which is called Space, which uh, it's uh, the one about the space shuttle mission, that is the lowest rated at 6.2 oh, out of 10. Which that, that, one, that one is, that one is uh, yeah, that one's pretty rough to get through as well. Yeah, that's not um, a very good episode. That yeah. almost feels like it's part of another show. It, it does. Not very it good. does. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I... I yeah, it's it, yeah. I, I get I get why those are the lowest rated. I can I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because because we, we're we're rewatching the series and uh, sometimes you wonder. It's like man, I'm really glad they got the second season uh, because there are a lot of clunkers in the first oh, season. Yeah. Just you know, it's not a terrible show, yeah. but 
but they're finding their way as in, and this was kind of, it, it, I would say it's the, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, it's like the first uh, really season of uh, like this next generation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Next gen was a terrible first season. That was far, actually, that was, I would say, uh, beard. That was next gen. First season was way worse than X Files first season. No, it, it's think, way worse than a lot of shows. First season. I think, in, <laughs> I think in general, when you have, uh, when you have 20 plus episodes to a season and each episode is supposed to be 45 minutes long and you're following that similar format as kind of the killer of the week format that crime shows follow, except yours is just, you know, spooky case of the week. Uh, That's a, that's a tough format to do. Uh, I mean, obviously you're, you've got some plot threads that are continuing and themes that run throughout, but uh attempting it where you're just trying to do new case new case new case it's like that's that's tough to do over this many episodes so i feel like bad ones yeah, are just is. kind of inevitable it, it, you're just it holding is. out for the good ones it is tough to do but it also gives you a little bit more leeway to play with things and mm-hmm. come up with new stories and ideas and be like well that one quite didn't work out but it's okay it's just like yeah. star trek where mm-hmm. one episode was kind of eh, and then he had a really good one but the through lot the through line and getting to know the characters you can build on their personalities and stuff, which you can't do with today's shows because there's six or eight episodes of four minutes. You, you got you time for yeah, nothing. Exactly. You yeah, can't you try character to, yeah. build in that long. Right. You, can't you try to cram it all in there. Relationships. Yeah. Next thing you know, you got Lizzo doing space magic <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> Sigmund the <laughs> sea monster. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> using his ship like a pirate. It, just weird <laughs> stuff like that. And it's just it's just like not even jangling keys it's, it's just like hey look at the you know look at the the shiny thing that i've got right here yeah instead of hey this is a real story let's get to know well, the characters and, and beard you put it up this, this show um through hits its run paved the way for i and i'll, I'll get fruit thrown at me for this but it's i think fringe was a better show i think it was a more complete show it was only five seasons, but I think it was a more complete show. And I, I like yeah. Fringe better than X Files. Fringe even references X Files, like legitimately references X Files in like the first yeah. one or two episodes. Um, <laughs> but I, I, but without X Files, I don't get that. And, and there are so many good episodes of X Files. But the problem for me, and I know, I know, is those later seasons where we start losing Mulder, then we lose Scully. And then we don't even have either of them for a minute. We got those two other weirdos. And then everybody kind of comes back for the, the wrap up. And then you get the movie. And then you get the later seasons, which are almost disconnected from the earlier seasons. Um, yeah. It's just kind of a weird amalgamation of decades at these characters and plot lines that are kind of here and here and here and here. No, and in many Whereas ways, Fringe this show is, was this and done, and it was that's why I love that. Yeah, the show is very much, in a way, kind of a, a victim of its own success. It became so popular that um, executives refused to let it in. We saw a similar problem with The Office, which uh, spawned yes. Parks yeah. and Recreation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which Parks and Recreation, I would argue, while not it didn't peak as high with its comedy, is still a more efficient sitcom because. Granted, the first season is not very good, but the second season through the last season is really, really it's good. A re- it's a really and, good uh, show. Yeah, yeah. And it, it ends yeah. well. Yeah. It doesn't overstay its welcome, whereas The Office think, ended two seasons too oh, late. It, yeah. I think if X-Files yeah. had gone into it knowing they were going to do, say, five seasons, mm-hmm. it would have been a better show. Yeah, You know you're going to start here. Yeah. And that's the way Mad Men did it. They, had a, they knew what their ultimate story arc was going to be. And then filling in those episodes was, you know, it kind of was what it was. But if X-Files had had a similar beginning and conclusion, we know we're starting here, we know we're ending here. And then you fill in that arc, I think it would have been better. You know, that's yeah. that's obviously with the, the gift of hindsight, not having producers on, or uh, executives on my back who want to say, why can't we do one more? Come on, it's it's fine. They don't need Mulder. What's the big deal? Um uh, uh- I think series is, should have a limit of how many seasons yeah. they do because it, you you lose it. You lose your audience. And yeah, I mean, I, I remember watching these when they came out and just getting bogged down and losing interest. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, especially if you're if you've got to really make time to watch just one show, like per 
per weeknight because right. you're so busy with life. You got to really pick and choose. As soon as the start show starts to drop off, you might have a choice between this. And I can't remember what else was kind of big during it. Oh, DS9. Mm -hmm. You know, my choice was between X Files and DS9. Yeah. And X Files starts to stumble, and DS9 is just getting good. I'm watching DS9. Mm -hmm. um, and that, yeah. it, that suffered from the same thing, though. It kind of, at the end, it, you know, started falling apart. They started doing really weird stuff. Um, but. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but that's the other thing. You were like, oh, um, Fringe. It only only had five seasons. Nowadays, any they'd be killed to have five seasons of anything. Yeah, I haven't seen a show five. go into Good. five seasons in seasons. 10 years. Yeah. Well, uh, at least I can't five, think of any. Every season was slightly different than the other, and it's just... And that's what made it for me. I know it's not everybody's favorite to start, but for me, that that's that's when you know that's a JJ Abrams product. That's when he was doing Mystery Box, but he was doing it well before he became the distorted freak of nature, horrible person that he is now. He was doing good work. Um, I mean, he did lose people with we'll loss. Same with the was, forgive the the words there, but you you understand what I mean. Yeah. Lost, lost was one of those shows that had a good premise, but lost its way. Just mm -hmm. didn't it didn't finish up the way people I know it's it's the stupid word, but it didn't finish up well. It didn't have that strong ending that it might have had they gone into it with a model of here to here. They didn't have right, that. right. Yeah, and Lost also was another one of those shows right. that it's uh, it's early seasons at the very least went on too long. I think I think the greatest contrast I've ever seen on a network was AMC having Breaking Bad and Walking Dead at the same time because Breaking Bad was a show that it knew where it ultimately wanted to go oh, and you don't yeah. necessarily yes. have to you don't necessarily want to know you don't necessarily have to know every single step because obviously season to season they did they knew where they wanted to go they just had to figure yep. out how to get it there and yep. they did so Great exceptionally example. well while the walking dead by the end of season three oh had become a God. it became it went yeah. from being a story to a product and yep. once it became, and yeah. it's still a product because they refuse. I know that. Yeah, the corpse is still out there. Shambling yeah. Right, the right, field. right. They literally because cannot it, let it go. They would have a character be like, "Oh, I'm weak," and then they would become this stone cold killer. Then they'd be like, "I don't want to kill anymore." Then they'd go through that cycle. Then they'd come back and be badass Look killer again. And then they'd be like, "I don't want to. I don't want to kill anybody anymore." Mm -hmm. You know, and it just. <laughs> And it got a really weird. The last episode I think I saw was like some dude with a tiger in it. And uh, <laughs> I mean, granted, that was, tiger, that, a tiger, that, Mando, not a lion. It, it was a tiger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, granted, that was yeah. from the comics and, and it, everything. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a liger either. Yeah. yeah. What the heck? I, now, I, see, I, and I don't I, mind I mean, the fact that they had a tiger. It's just the show was. It was too, you know. I was like, whatever. Well, it, oh, was, no, they, it was structured a very specific way. They were going to yeah. have a death at, at one point of the season, then they were going to have a lot of slow stuff in between, and because it was trying to, it was trying to take what they thought they thought Game of Thrones was popular in its heyday because, oh well, they kill people. That's what people want. It's a shocking death. It's like, well, no, you have to earn that. No. It's like you can't turn that into no. just a story. Yeah, they were just randomly kind of stuff. Oh, killing Game of people. Thrones. Oh, that's another thing gord i mean that's that's another show that went on for at least three seasons too long because well i mean the problem with that was a little different the writer, because they the just writer. they ran out of the material oh, and they well, didn't know what to do with it and then they they yep. wanted to end it oh, then, like almost oh. too quickly without fleshing anything yeah. out like that's Terrible. a that's its own separate so i mean there are entity. there aren't many series <laughs> that know how to be what they should be though uh, Breaking Bad was another good example that you said. Mad Men is is a fantastic example, and then, like I said, Fringe. But there, there just aren't a ton of them out there that know what they want to do, what they want to accomplish uh, within their storytelling arc, so that they can have a reliably good show from week to week to week, and then start on a strong note and end on a strong note. Usually, you don't get that latter half. You don't usually get the end on a strong note. You get the no. The whimper, not a bang. Yeah, even uh, um, ah, the hell is it called? The I just had it in my head and I lost it. it uh, it's a space, and they find a portal that they can go through. But the before they find the portal, there's uh, it's now it's it's not a 
Is that a euphemism? It's not sorry. No, no, no. They find a portal, but before they find a portal, there's like Mars and Earth, and there's and the, the spacers, and they have all these uh, the like oh, yeah. The expanse. Yeah. yeah, that's it. The expanse. It has Holy all the yeah. yeah. The it had all kinds of like Holy really good oh, political God. stuff and yeah. Seasons one, yeah. two, and, and three so, the so were like, phenomenal. They were so good. That's some of the best sci-fi that's and ever been written and produced. And then. Some it of the wasn't. base base battles too. Oh, they were yeah. great yeah, because <clears throat> because they use science, they use actual you know physics and you know, ideas as to how these things should work in real space. It's just it was brilliant stuff. But then it just it started the the ship started coming into the atmosphere and you couldn't pull it out, and then it fully burned up by when when it, when they discovered oh. the portal right, which I knew was always going to be part of the books, yeah. but it all fell apart because then they were like, well, <laughs> the Mars is kind of relegated now, and that's what really I liked was the 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 political play between all yeah, three that was great stuff. of the factions and. Yeah, great characters yeah, that, was, that, that evolved out of that. Oh, and then they... So many, yeah, such a good cast. So many brilliant then, characters. Right. It, it is then, based on a book. Mm -hmm. Then series. they killed off What's-His-Name because they me-tooed him or whatever. Um, no, yeah, they me-tooed the Mars yeah. guy. And that yeah. totally train wrecked them because now they had a, they had a character gap. And when you have a, a series, a, 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 a television show built on a book series that has this character in it and it's an integral character, when you remove that character... It, it's going to cause a problem, and it did. Um, you definitely felt the absence of, I forget the name of the character, you have to forgive me on that, I haven't watched the show in a, in a bit, but you did feel, and his death yeah, was meaningless. It, it, it was one of those useless deaths, like Tasha Yar's death was meaningless. Yeah. This was as equally a meaningless death. Well, because he like, should have just caused some it accident, he's people. disfigured, and they rebuilt his face or something and recast him. I mean, it's it's the future. They could, I'm sure they could do that. Yeah, that would have that would have been better than just saying, well, I guess he's dead, what to do? Well, um, I, it, I, if that was what was supposed to happen to the character, but it was the fact that he was just me too, yeah, and then like, yep. they're like, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. And it, Not cool. It was uncool. I mean, if I was getting me too, I would have told him, F off. I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Fire me? You I'm know? just going to throw this out there real quick. The best little short little scene in that movie starts with, you're not that guy. You're not that guy. And ends with, I am that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> love that scene yeah it, it, and that was a that was a great show uh babylon five that had a as five year story arc when they went in they were like we're doing yeah, five yeah. years of or seasons i guess but it it had a beginning and an end it was already plotted out um so it, i loved v5 v5 yeah i don't really I, think the, it the had the war for me was yep. one of the best things ever written um londo was such a brilliant character uh and his yeah. relationship with um jakar those those two characters again you go back they to were, just brilliant sci-fi stuff they were fantastic i'm v chipping myself right there that was, that's actors um <laughs> the actors yeah you're right yes the actors themselves were just extraordinary and the, and and their roles were very well defined and uh, again it, it just good writing good writing but good writing that knows where it wants to go and that's and the, and the characters the had pity of X Files had they, significant they didn't know character what it wanted growth. to do. Uh, X Files wanted to have a UFO yeah. story and a monster of the week arc, but then it crumbled. What when did Mulder leave? Was that season four, season five? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. it was yeah, it was it pretty far into it. It, it doesn't really <laughs> matter as soon as he left. That was the the mallet blow to the foundational structure of the mm -hmm. show. And they, they brought in the guy yeah. from T2, that actor, um, whose name I'm not remembering. Robert Patrick. He's, he's a, he, a bit, yes, he, but he's not a, yes. Robert Patrick's not a bad actor. He's fine. No, he's a really good actor. It's just, it's, it, he's not. I, it's, I didn't, I didn't mind yeah, his he's character. He's not Mulder. You can't just replace but as a, a But as character. a replacement for Mulder, no. 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 Although so, he, he like kind of fits the, he kind of fits like the FBI agent kind of mold. Yeah, but that's that's when you had the juxtaposition the Mulder? of Mulder yeah. and Scully. That's when <laughs> Scully became the 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 spooky character, and the Robert Patrick character became John something, the foundational, you know, grounded in realism character. Mm -hmm. So that's you have this complete turnaround for Scully, and then you have a, you have to have a straight man kind of thing. 
But I mean, these early seasons, though, as, you, as, as Jacob then, walks us through these, these are really good. And this is, but the show was so popular for those first couple seasons. It was like wildly popular. If you were, if you weren't alive back then, or were too young to remember, X Files was more than just a show. Bando, it was, it was a phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hate to do this, but I've got to jump out on you. But. uh Thank you hey, for having okay. me, uh, Jacob. Thanks for letting me into this conversation. Yeah, glad you I, could, I like this episode an awful on. lot. So I just I wanted to be able to hop in here if I could. So I appreciate you uh, allowing hey, allowing me to in, join in future your, your small contingent of of, of uh, characters who went to the Arctic this week. So thank you for in, that. In future, um, if you have if in future if there's an episode you want to just jump in, just let me know. There's all right. Well, I, I appreciate room, it. I, I so. really do. I, I am like your deep throat. So on that note, <laughs> I'm going to bail out, guys. Right. And leave you awkward. Uh, so I will see you all this week, at least most of you this week anyway. Uh, so you guys have a great yep. evening. Awesome show, Jacob. Thank you very much. And you guys take care. Yep. All right. Later, man. Later, Roman. <laughs> she said from far away <laughs> yeah X-Files so yeah, that, that we did it, it. X-Files we did it no no, no. so no, um, anybody want to what what <laughs> she said she didn't want to sing Dora <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we okay. doing? Going around the going so around that was that. Here. Yeah, we'll go around the horn and, and spout our stuff and uh, shield and wall. Bog it off. <laughs> All right. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be on uh, Zax's channel. What's good channel? Mm, cool. Yep. Um, and we're going to be talking about episode five of five six and maybe seven <laughs> i don't i'm not sure of uh of shogun which is sure. a really good show yeah um highly recommend it if anybody hasn't seen it uh it so far it's been really good really good writing really good sets acting the whole thing um so it's it's a good show recommend it and then on thursday yeah. i'm going to be on roman's show and we're going to be going over um rock heavy metal music so it'll be it'll be fun those Neat. are always a fun stream yeah and yep. next week i'm not going to be on any shows uh because i'll be out of town traveling and stuff so yep. um but then whatever we have lined up for the week for the week after that. I'll be down for. Cool. There's Neat. one coming up that that got filled up real quick, so it's the Amadeus stream. Hey, so. hey, hey. That would be when's fun. uh when's that one? Uh, That's the sixteenth. Uh, let me let me look. Uh, while it's I look, Mando would be got coming. <laughs> You don't have to look. It's the uh, 16th. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I am going to be streaming uh, The Witcher 3 tomorrow on my Kick and Twitch uh, channel because it's been a while and I never finished. And so I'm restarting the whole thing. Um, and then Thursday, I'll be on Roman's channel. And uh, that's going to be it for most of this week. Uh, I've got some IRL stuff going on. And then next week is all up in the air is it next week or the week after i'm on your show gord next week forrest gump next week yes oh, yeah. the, gump. the gump run Life is forrest, like a box run. Of chocolates <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get yeah we yeah. like the forest gord gord what, what do you got come out well come uh out. as mando brought up next week on the king's court we're gonna be talking forrest gump that should be a lot of fun i'll probably do a gaming stream tomorrow on my gaming with gourd channel uh friday night i'll be on abomination ages channel with him and hopefully jana if she's feeling up to it uh we're talking 
Avatar The Last Airbender. We've got two episodes of that adaptation left. It's horrendous. Um, oh, it is. And it is. Oh, gosh. It's, it's terrible. It's so terrible. And I've already watched the whole series once, so I'm having to rewatch these episodes before the show. So, yay! <laughs> oh, fun. Isn't it great to be an, an authority on crap? Uh, but, uh, and yeah, I've got uh, got a few scripts in the works. One in particular I'm working on for my next video. It's uh, the 10 year anniversary of a great movie that at the moment shall remain nameless that I'm going to do a video on. So I'm looking forward to that. beard uh let's see i was originally scheduled to be on roman show on thursday but i backed out of that when i got some stuff going on in real life plus it, it didn't really feel like a fit uh, for me i wouldn't be able to bring my a game and if i can't bring my a game i don't i shouldn't bring a game at all so uh that's at least how i approach doing these things and um then on uh friday night i'll be recording with the gray's tap room podcast uh, and that episode will be released the next or Monday after that. Uh, it's kind of a, like you and your buddy sit down at the bar and just talking about whatever kind of podcast. So who knows what's going to come up because these two get pretty wild. <laughs> so <laughs> that'll be a fun time. And then Monday, um, I'll, after the weekend is kind of up in the air on Monday. We're not really, we haven't picked anything yet. Uh, um, we're not entirely 100% sure we're going to be having an episode, uh, but people can follow me on uh, Twix at Beard of Liberty. And as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Cool. Uh, next week for me is uh, going to be doing Drums Along the Mohawk, which is a 1939, oh, yes. I think. Uh, Henry Fonda movie. Yeah, we... So we tried to do a stream for that already, and then, uh, but the yeah, internet issues kind of my internet knocked it out. That was that it. was the ins that was where the in the internet issue reared its head at its worst and forced you to change to dish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, whatever and, you got uh, now. Yeah, the week after that. Great. Yeah, it has definitely. I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, yeah, and the week after that is the Amadeus stream, and there's we got uh, Gord King is going to be on that. Mexa from you've probably seen him on uh, technically Mexicans channel. He's he's a regular on there. Uh, nice. Nadia, who was uh, James the Ginger Ninja will be on there, and nice. he will oh, cool. he will be doing artwork. Awesome. That's so always fun. Cool. Uh, and Sammy. Sammy's going to be on that, too. So Sweet. That's that's what I got coming. I will be there. I, I will be on Roman's, Roman's show. I will bring whatever I can to that stream. Not a big heavy metal fan, but some of it is, <laughs> is good. It's okay. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's, all, that's all I got. Oh yeah, and the uh, the uh, all in the mix stream is going to be moving to the last Saturday of the month, so that it'll only be on that Saturday. So, well, just okay. well, just so you know, so just Osmium so I can have more time to. What? Now? I was going to say Osmium, Osmium is the densest of metals, so that is the heaviest metal. So, if you just tell oh, everyone yeah. you're an Os an Osmium yeah. Osborne fan. You'll be all right. <laughs> Even though he says he's Iron Man, but whatever, you know, either or you're fine. <laughs> yeah. So they yeah, got, that was a good, good, good two episodes to talk about. Yeah, yeah, to come on. And, uh, I think, I think you need and... to get that Simpsons clip of them saying agent Smolder and Scully. FBI. I think you need to get that and just make that a regular thing for these X Files streams. Yeah, definitely. You got to do it. I got. I got to. I got to do it. Hey, wait! I didn't play the. Uh, the I just hit me. I didn't play the X Files intro. 
I played. Oh, the, no, uh, yeah, that's the, right. True. Uh, that's okay. Well, yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for being here. And uh, I hope everybody has a good week. Thanks to the chat for hanging with us. And we will see y'all next week. Later. Later. Later, everybody. <laughs>